bastard start streaming. Oh my god, this fucking thing keeps pressing. Okay, it's up, ladies and gentlemen, Akalon here, and welcome back to each and every one of you. Of course, if you're watching this over on YouTube, remember to slap that like button, also hit that subscribe button, and uh, click the link in the description down below if you want to come join us live. It is always better when it's live. Always. Without fail. 100%. Just making sure everything's getting synced out. Uh, Hose, thank you for the follow, dude. Really appreciate that. Welcome to the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Mm. Is this good? Yeah. All right. Ah, fucking hell. Whenever Twitch uh, gets ready, we'll go. As soon as Twitch wants to send out some notifications. That'd be great. Bastard. Right, there we go. Twitch has done its job. Let's do uh, this, and uh, then we should be good. Yeah. At least I hope so. I hope so. Um, oof. Stream is fucking up and down here. <coughs> Excuse me. Why is it going for now? Natora, how are you doing? Yeah, that, that seems to be stabilizing. Good evening, Natora. How's your day been? Wonder Blitz, how you doing, brother? Oh, I, I can't complain. A bit, a bit tired, but other than that, pretty good. Apocalypse, how you doing, bro? You should again echo, Mr. Smoken. I am indeed. I am indeed. I, I was in the mood for Final Fantasy and I thought may as well fucking play and stream. You heard correctly. You seen the Imgur? Uh, no. What, what Im Imgur dump? I have no idea what you're talking about. Apocalypse. Lunavira, how are you doing? Like literally zero idea. Um... Where did this take place on Discord? Because I wasn't tagged in anything, so I genuinely don't know. I didn't get a DM from you. Oh, literally just now. Okay, yeah, hold up. 10.0 leaks. From who? Uh... I'm checking. Hold up. Oh, for the love of fuck. Okay, uh, it wants me to do stupid shit. Hold on, gone. Thank you much for the follow, dude. Really appreciate that. Welcome to the channel. Hold on, I'm, I'm trying. It wants me to log in. Fuck off, Imgur. I don't want to log into your stupid fucking site. Just want to see the pictures. Um. All right, you guys want to see this? Would you like me to show you or should I just nerd out by myself? All right, um, so to be clear, okay, these are, uh, these are images on Imgur or Imgur, uh, Imgur, depending on how you want to pronounce that, I suppose, um, but the, these are images that apparently have leaked from 10.0, um, I can't really see who posted these screenshots, um, I genuinely don't know. It's like it could just be made up. It could be something worthwhile. No one knows, right? Uh, I, I I cannot guarantee that this is real, but let's go let's go through it anyways. All right. Um. So first image, we've got what seems to be broken towers. Uh, in like one of them at least is in uh, very much like disrepair. But let's still, how you doing? Uh, Kanye asks, how you doing, brother? Right on. Oh, how I fell asleep this morning watching you. Do your level 20 BLM quest? <laughs> We're going to go further today. I mean, this could be anything, right? This could just be a game asset. Um, we've seen these assets before, so not much there. Nice screenshot of Stormwind. Yeah, 
That is Stormwind. That, that looks weird. Anyways, I haven't been in Stormwind in fucking ages. But okay. Void Planet. Why would there be... Like, there's obviously no textures in this at all. Old God thing, whatever this is supposed to be. So you have this sort of Void Planet thing. No textures. So this would be very, very early days, right? Um, you have Nazoth somewhere there. Now, the problem that I have with this is this could literally have been from uh, 8.1, right? Or 8.0. Th this could have been like early, uh, shall we say, uh, early versions of stuff that they thought that they were going to be thinking about. Anjan Musha. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's possible, right? Um, that's how it looks like it was uh, Anandal and however it's spelled. And yeah, it looks similar to that. All right. Uh, then you have a tower completely and utterly fucking like destroyed. But according to them, updating some doodads to higher quality. All right. So they're just doing quality updates on these. Um, sure. A nice little screenshot again. Although this is Garrison's. Is this not a gar This is the Garrison, isn't it? Is this not the Alliance Garrison? No, the Alliance Garrison didn't have this. It had, like, more blocky walls and shit. Although I don't... Is that Lunafall? Why does this not look familiar to me at all? This does not look familiar to me. It might just be... Might just be that I've, I've never really paid attention. I the, the amount of Alliance that I've played is criminal, just to be clear. Um, I, I don't even have a max level Alliance character. I have one Alliance character that was boosted uh, with the tokens that you get when you buy the expansions. So yeah, I, 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 I've, I've no idea. Zero from Eastern Island Forest. I mean, these are all just updated shit. This is all just updated. I don't know why I'm supposed to be excited by this. Blades with runes on them. This gets me a little excited. I, I, I am getting a little bit of a semi year uh, looking at blades with runes on them. Whenever I see runes, I get a, a slight hard on. Um, and at least a semi. Because runes are always exciting. Always. Uh, Venetia, how are you doing? The very enemy antagonist. What do you think? Let Arthur's work and Savannah's not. I, I believe Arthas needs to come back for, like, play some fan, fan service, really. He's coming. I have played a lot of Alliance, and that picture did not look familiar. All right. One Dave I talked to has worked on these, a one handed sword. Okay, this seems to be, like, this looks almost like the starting area. Um, in Silvermoon City, just updated, I suppose. Better graphics. Uh, although the average WoW player will still not be able to play at this graphics, so it's fine, right? <laughs> the average WoW player has a potato, so uh doesn't matter that they keep updating the graphics since uh, the vast majority of WoW players cannot play with better graphics. They have to literally turn on old models to play. Uh, Arthur's had a decade of build-up and a ton of lore around him. I would love to see Arthur's again. Um, more of Silvermoon. The fact that they have so many Silvermoon... Does this mean we could maybe expect flying in Silvermoon finally? How many years has it been since they've done any sort of updates to Silvermoon? Like, literally, when it came out. <laughs> and then they stopped, like, Insta. Just, no, oh, fuck that place. Who gives a shit, right? Um, so, maybe the fact that they're updating it is finally some flying in Silvermoon, which would be great. It would actually be my new capital. If you can fly in Silvermoon, holy shit. Um, anything that added in Silvermoon was Nightborn. Never played in Silvermoon, so no idea what the, the place is like. Silvermoon is beautiful. Uh, Natalie, how are you doing? Silvermoon is beautiful, and by far one of the greatest cities that the, the Horde has. By far. The problem has just always been you can't fly there. So going there just slows shit down quite heavily. Uh, Kalthalas, okay, again, I'm, I'm finding it hard to understand why would they be remaking these. Le okay, so we're in a world now where we're imagining that this is real, okay? We're imagining that this really came from a WoW developer that is really taking screenshots as they're working on this, that is really showing us stuff. Should, you know, should the 10.0 release and, and this is what we're going to be getting. 
I'm not interested in the debate that this is just bullshit and this is just someone that's trolling. Who gives a shit, right? Does, doesn't matter. Um, the fact that they're updating Silvermoon suggests that Silvermoon is going to play quite a big portion or a big part in 10.0. Unless, of course, Blizzard cuts the content. <laughs> anyway, Calflas is getting some updates. Um, Jara Throne, Sunwells are some kind of traps and uh, taps into his right power. True. Uh, I mean, we know that already. And then you've got more updates here. You look like you've lost some weight. Warfronts. This is one of the Warfront things. If the next expansion is about Light and Void, then I have an idea for a new class that I hope they release. Void Knight, a melee class that used the power of Void to do fight. One or two DPS specs and one tank spec. I don't think you're going to get a new class. Um, especially not Void, because you already have Void Elves. Even though it would be cool, I, I don't think... I don't think you're gonna get that. Um, it could just be a new design, but this is the Warfront, uh, the Alliance side of the Warfront, right? Because um, I know exactly where this is. This is the Arathi Highlands. Uh, but in the game itself, this city is completely broken and fucked. So this seems to be the Warfront place. Possible? Possible, I suppose. Um, they've updated it. Why would they update Stormguard Keep? Fuck knows. We'll see. Then you have... Wait. Have Lordaeron been restored? Surely Lordaeron cannot be restored in a single fucking expansion. Now, before you guys go, Akalon, look, the walls have always been there. Number one, the walls have always been there, yes, but they've been more fucked than what this picture would suggest. Number two, that tower that stands right there in the back, like in the middle, that, thing been, th that thing's been blown up to shit. So, either the Alliance build really fast, like really fast. It took the Horde almost an two expansions to finish the building on Ogrimmar. Uh, the Alliance came in and immediately fucking fixed it, right? They like just insta. One, that's all we need. One expansion, we'll build a new loader on. No problems. We do know, however, that loader on is on the cards. They want to take it back. Um, Teralian actually spoke about this. There's a line. Uh, someone tweeted it at me. I'm trying to remember now who. But someone tweeted it at me. When was this? Uh, let's just quickly go over to Twitter. Um, all right, Twitter. Do your ting. Do your ting. Let's go back. Let's go back. <clears throat> Load, you motherfucker. All right. There's a lot of notifications here, so give me a moment. I'm just just scrolling through it all. Here we go. Potato dude. Uh, all right. So this is from High Exoc to Rallyan, right? He says the following. What is this, a leak? Uh, Prevalus, we think it's a leak. They claim it's a leak. So we're sort of just playing along, right? And saying, what if this is a leak? But okay, so this is what Teralian says. Reclaiming Stromgod was a good first step. Perhaps there are other holdings of the old alliance that could be secured, right? So, Stromgod is being updated, meaning the alliance have now fully reclaimed Stromgod. And then, of course, we have Lordaeron. Lordaeron would be the ultimate place for the alliance to claim, since it used to be their capital. So, just gonna you know, throw that out there then of course we have not not got much clarity not not got much clarity this is located in Iki though um this looks very drust nightmarish this is very nightmare inspired drust like stuff you see now the thing that is the thing that that's sort of scaring me about this is Blizzard cannot um, the next expansion cannot include anything weird, right? It can't include the nightmare. 
Uh, it cannot really include any sort of far off lore that, that would be very hidden. This includes Blood Trolls. Even though Blood Trolls is well known to the rest of us, the, the lore nerds, it should not include that. Because uh, the, the average player is just going to be lost again. The next expansion should go back to sort of basics, right? Very basic stuff that, that we all know and love. Um, all right, Ashenvale. More plants. <laughs> I mean, cool. Um, we've got uh, NPC Tame, a demon cave, work in progress. Oh my fuck. Okay, I know exactly what the next expansion is. It's demons, it's nightmare, it's trolls, it's everything. It's everything. It is Horde v Alliance, demons, trolls, uh, old gods. It's literally throw everything. Just all of the fucking lore. They will just throw all of the lore into it. Why the fuck am I disappearing off the screen? Oh my fuck, this fucking program, bro. Don't disappear me off the fucking screen. You always have 20 plus videos that's all the same speculation but with a little twist each video just so you can say you're right um so well, is that true interesting you can go through all of my videos and see that that's not the truth but hey you do you bro um all right so let's see all right uh more alliance because of more upgraded buildings more upgraded buildings. Uh, Scholomons. Why is Scholomons being reworked? If Blizzard starts bringing shit back, that's going to be... That's going to be insane. Captain Big Plan, how you doing, bro? I hate to rally in. I hope he dies and get raised uh, as undead. Why would you want that? I would definitely not want to rally to die. He's going to make some pretty good fucking things. Gromias, that is true. However, <laughs> to make the claim that I do speculation just so that I can be right is the words of a fucking moron. Also, the words of someone who's never been to any of my live streams, who's never watched me speculate live, who doesn't know shit, who's trying to come into chat and start something. I I excuse me, Mr. Nobody, for not really wanting to start something with you. Um... But, yeah, the, the, to make that claim is to literally ignore everything that I've said before and just sort of go, uh, I'm going to say something fucking heavy. Uh, <laughs> uh, Zuval, shut the fuck up. Um, it's obvious they've never been here before? No. It's obvious that they've never come out. They don't leave the house, right? Um, all right, so Scholomon's being updated makes no fucking sense to me. I hate Carly Manithal. Why is she now, like, undead looking? So if they finally decided that the golden one just looks stupid, they'll now make her look a little bit more undead. Because uh, this Carly looks a little bit better. Good night, Matt. Looks a little bit better um, than the weird-looking one that we had before. Even if they did fix the gameplay, I don't know if I'd come back for a light expansion. It sounds insufferable. Light expansion could be really cool. Not not saying that it shouldn't happen, but it could be really cool. I don't like Kalia. There's a, a, a bunch of things wrong with Kalia. Like, a fucking bunch of things wrong with Kalia. Let's go, Lewis, where the sepulcher is. Uh, yeah. Why would the sepulcher be in Scholomons? Like, what, what link is there to the sepulcher... Being in Scholomons. Alright, so I quickly... Because I'm a petty little fuck, right? Because I'm a petty little fuck. Um, I, I, I decided, let's, let's, let's follow up on Mr. Zuval's message here, right? So we have one message, uh, one video. This is my latest video. Why does Zuval need Anduin? All right. That's a video about Anduin and Zuval. And why exactly would Zuval want Anduin? 
The main fun is Sylvanas guilty. Uh, considering the fact that there's been brand new information about Sylvanas, I thought that that would be pertinent to the conversation. Of course, one could make the argument this is speculation simply for the sake of trying to prove I'm wrong or right. But hey, there's just been a bunch of new cinematics, including Sylvanas. I thought this would be a good question to ask. All right, we'll move on. We solved the riddle of the first one. So far, my first three videos have nothing to do with one another. All right, so my latest three videos are completely, like, they don't, they're not linked. Okay. Anyways, then we have the deep dive, Anduin's goodbye. Can't really do anything about that one. Was a new cinematic by Blizzard. If it happens to coincide with some of my own speculation theories, that's on Blizzard. You'd have to take it up with the newser. Tweet at him right now. Tell him, why do you, how do you dare you make a cinematic that is exactly the same as one of Akalon's speculations? Uh, see how he reacts to that one. Uh, this was my reaction again. You know, it's on, on Blizzard. Uh, then we have one that says worth World of Warcraft subscription. Um, pretty much not speculation, but okay. Maybe that's the same as the Sylvanas or the Anduin one. Who knows? I have no idea. We have one about the Blizzard lawsuit, which again, not quite speculation. Not Okay, so we'll leave that one out. First worlds or new world first impressions. Again, not really sure how that relates to anything that we have right now, you know within the um oh it's very very difficult to fucking figure out what this one is about right um we have another deep dive here which again has fuck all to do with me we have the brokers and the secrets of the first ones uh, again not much to do with me from life elune and the, the goddess of death not much to do with anything else that i've put out so far on the channel uh how to fix world of warcraft zuval's legacy again nothing to do with any of the others what the fuck are you talking about zuval i've gone a month back bro <laughs> i've gone back a month i don't know like in the last month not a single one of my videos have repeated the same theory I don't know what you're talking about. Are you high? Hey, uh, did you just smoke a fat one? And they thought, I'll, I'll come start shit in the Twitch streamer's stream. Because that's all I can think. Or there might be one other reason he did this and Ormi actually mentioned it. He might be looking at the Clips channel and thinking to himself, this must be the guy's real channel. Even though the name of the Clips channel very much suggests that it is just that, a, a Clips channel right now to be clear every single one of these clips that you see are clips from live streams all right most of these clips come from the same live stream these are portions of the live streams that we thought people might be interested in they're not meant to be speculation they're not meant to be making money these are interesting conversations that people miss because live streams are like fucking five hours long and we just decided to put it onto this channel so if you're looking at this channel and thinking you're just throwing everything at the wall to see what sticks so you can say i'm right this is live stream clips it's not the same <sighs> Fallon, thank you for the prime sub. Did really appreciate that. Four months in a row. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I bet if we ask Zuval, uh, he, he's probably like he prefers another content creator and their speculation, and that's why he had a problem with my speculation because I happen to make different videos to his favorite speculator. Anyways, uh, Kalia Minithal, she looks better than what she looks right now, but still, fuck her. She shouldn't exist. There is no evidence whatsoever that the light should be able to to revive undead like none the light should not be able to raise someone into undead it can bring people back from death from death but it should not be able to raise people into undead the fact that they can do this is very strange and very weird right uh before the sub law i'm kind of drunk so don't mind me Fallon, don't worry about it bro uh happy to have you here all right so more sort of updated graphics more updated graphics, more updated graphics. Seems to be doing a lot of work in, in a lot of the older zones here. Um, which suggests that the next expansion will most likely... Um, this is pretty cool, Demonic Library in Falwood. 
That looks very cool. does look fucking awesome the problem that i have is why demons like how are demons being brought back into the game unless these are like just old places that they're sort of updating for leveling but at that point one has to ask the question the fuck are you doing fix the end game first and then go into like uh, you know, away. leveling things. Have a I don't like Callie, but that picture looks cool. She looks like Jane Volturi in Twilight. <laughs> Voltari in Twilight. I like this. A new area of importance, not the seat of the Pantheon. <laughs> but this does look like Titans, does it not? Celestial beings. A new area of importance, although not the seat of the Pantheon. Well, you can see it's not the seat of the Pantheon. But that does not mean that the, this is not the seat of a different Pantheon. Or perhaps the seat of the Celestials. Like the ones that we fought in Ulduar, right? First ones equal Titans? No. Um, it could be Constellars. It's possible that it could be Constellars. But the problem that I have with this is the Titans looked exactly the same before they got their sort of bodies reanimated to them alex how you doing so i don't know but this could be the consulars absolutely could be the consulars why would their area be important though i don't know more updated places more updated places more updated places Dalaran has landed. This is pretty cool. <laughs> but what does it mean? What does it mean? Dalaran has landed. But what does it mean? From a lore perspective, I mean, Dalaran could always have landed. It's just interesting that they decided now's the time. Right? Could be the new reality. When Zuval hit the reset button, everything restored to its original state. Work in progress, Stormwind. Layout and Doodads. Place not final. Yeah, it's clear this isn't final. No Moon Lady, how you doing? Dadgar coming back? Probably. Dadgar is probably coming back in a big way. Like a fucking huge way. Um, EK Horde base. Alright. Looks cool. Riven Tusk. Work in progress. Very much work in progress. This is so small. What is this? Bolt the city bolt for ants? Zval is going through with Thanos did. <sighs> they not say like Thanos did. Maybe Blizzard comes up with a slightly more original fucking story than that. Right? Is this from that Revelations fan made game? No, no. This is according to Im Imger. This is a, a leak. This is from a Blizzard employee that's working on this stuff right now. And they took like a bunch of screenshots to showcase what they're working on. Port Harbor. Really? Where's the ships? A oh, one ship. What a what a fucking harbor. We've built a harbor, ladies and gentlemen. We've got walls on all sides in place for one ship. <laughs> what an efficient use of space. Um, it looks like Dragon Ball, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. It does look like Dragon Ball, uh, which might suggest that it co it is coming back, right? We're, we're getting Dragon Ball is gonna play some kind of role uh, in the story. Of course, it is a uh, it's a harbor for one ship. <laughs> looks like it's from Borean Tundra. Uh, it looks more like Dragon Ball to me. Oof. 
Whole tower revamped. <laughs> Something tells me this guy is working on Walker of 4. <laughs> um, I don't know, honestly. What do you mean you don't know? This is a goblin fucking house. You can see all the goblin shit. This stuff is all over uh, the barons. The fact that you say, I don't know, honestly, tells me one of two things. Either you're one of those fuckers that, that took a job at Blizzard Entertainment and do not play the game yourself. You just took it so that you can make some money off of the fucking game. Or this is a lie. How can you not know this is just a goblin fucking machine shop kind of thing? Um, Shadowfan keep Sylvanas banners temporary. Oh, why are you saying temporary? Oh my god, can you imagine? Can you imagine if next expansion Sylvanas takes over Shadowfan keep, bro? Starts her own faction. There we go. Yes. Let's go, bitch. I'll join Sylvanas' faction instantly. And then we'll burn your fucking tree again. <laughs> uh, yeah, don't get your get it down. Get it down, CM. You cannot allow for your expectations to rise. They'll let you down, bro. All right, more shadow fan. I seem to spot a little bit of plague stuff going on there. Yeah. I think the Forsaken is taking this one back, and hopefully, if we're lucky, it's Sylvanas that takes it back. Balcony of the Silvermoon Palace, okay. Um, an area in Qualthalus, work in progress. Looks very much like a work in progress. Also looks like a very low poly count fucking camera. Like, low pixels, this. Low, low pixels. Um... This looks like the kind of picture that was blown up like 400% just to make sure that it's big enough. Um, more Silvermoon. Okay, so something huge must happen in Silvermoon. Something big is coming in Silvermoon. And if I'm correct, and this is a massive sort of light expansion, then that makes sense, right? Um, it makes sense. Silvermoon would very much be front and center in any sort of light expansion. Azure Mist Isle. Ooh, is that finally getting some love too? Draenei, put your hands together. You're finally getting some fucking love. Uh, more Azure Mist Isle. Stormwind, House of the Nobles. It's a lot of discs. Also, does everyone just bring their own desk and put it wherever the fuck they feel like? Surely they could have just had it, like, in rows or some shit, right? House of the Nobles. That's not in the game right now, is it? Uh, there we go. Apocalypse just linked it. Zoom to the map in the back. Uh, I can try. Hold up. Oof. 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 Hold up. Let's save this image that way. We should be able to do it this way. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Yeah, everything, everything seems in place. Although, albeit a little bit off-center. I don't know. Perhaps they put it that way, right? Perhaps th this was just placed to be an early look because all of this says work in progress, right? All of this is work in progress. So it could be that they just sort of, this is, these desks will eventually be in rows, right? Also, that picture will not be, they like, fucking, whatever the fuck is going on here. Like half, only half this picture was blessed by the light. Or cleaned. The other half is not sparkly and clean, right? Um. So yeah, I, I suppose 
I don't know if we can read too much into the fact that everything is just weird. Right? They say it's work in progress, so it's work in fucking progress. Oof. No. The fuck just happened? Oh my god, bro. Where were we again? So long fucking way down. Um. Ah, the fucked up uh, House of the Nobles. Here we go. All right, then we have Black Morass. Why the hell is Blizzard bringing Black? Oh, for fuck's sake. Are we skipping all over the place again? Uh, why is Black Morass being updated? Like, serious fucking question. See, the map was upside down. Yeah, I, I saw that. Think Blizzard is bringing back Sunken Temple. That'd be weird. Priest or not? No. Uh, well, at least from these pictures, not everything is being updated, but a lot is being updated. Like a lot of the old world is getting some massive fucking updates. Um. Now this could just be part of Blizzard's sort of two-year update every two years blizzard does an entire update on certain parts of the world right uh one expansion i can't remember if it was wall of Draenor or whatever they did like massive upgrades to mountains right to make mountains look better working on the color sort of 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 it so you know um it's entirely possible that this is just part of that all right looks good still a little unfinished but looks good Goldshire work in progress. Yeah, it seems like the the alliance have uh, cleared a lot of trees here. Wait, is Goldshire getting a fucking wall around it? Are they making like a big place for people to ERP in? <laughs> Blizzard is like expanding the zone for ERP. Now, if you want to do something naughty naughty, you can go to some of the corners of the walls uh, to go do your naughty naughty shit. <laughs> um, is there a possibility that this is fake? Or oh, Favorant, there is a massive possibility that this is fake. We have no evidence that this is real. The dark stamp to enter. Bad joke incoming, don't kill me, but that looks like a Trump move. What? To put a wall? <laughs> Blizzard hired Trump. Uh, and Trump immediately said, What is this fucking thing doing here without a wall? Get a wall around this fucking inn. <laughs> and there's a wall now on this, uh, <laughs> around this inn. Uh, why not? <laughs> All right. It does look like a very good wall, I will say. So it must be Trump's. He kept saying that he can build good walls. Uh, so I'm not. I'm not going to say that it is. Uh, I'm not going to say that it isn't, or that it is. I'll just leave it uh, for everyone else. Then we have Alwyn Forest, looking quite blurred out. Uh, and that's it. That's all of the pictures. That's that's all of it. The the problem is we don't know if this is real. If it is real, the, then almost all of the evidence points to a light expansion coming up next. Because much of the places that's been updated uh, is very much light-oriented. The fact that Lordaeron is, is getting updated, that's the City of Light. By the way, I, this is a genuine comment that I had on one of my videos. Um, the Anduin video, where someone said... Uh, Arthur's father can, under no circumstances, be the Golden King. Now, I don't disagree. There's a chance, though. It's highly unlikely that he is the Golden King. It's more likely that he is the betrayed father, right? But listen to the rest of this comment, because this is the perfect example of someone 
someone knowing that there's a spoon somewhere in the roof they just don't fucking know where um so he goes it's impossible that he is the king the golden king because he was never associated with gold or with light now you guys can tell me was king Terranus? is that true was he never associated with the light was he like uh, uh, like a void king or something? A genuine question for everyone that knows anything about the lore. The entirety of Lord Run was associated with the light or not? See, and that's the problem, right? That's exactly what I told him in the comment in my reply to him. Is um, so you're saying? the king of the kingdom of light literally a kingdom where if you weren't a priest or a paladin you were effectively ostracized from the kingdom like every child that was born in lordaeron wanted to become a priest or a paladin since that was literally what lordaeron stood for so you're saying the king of the city had fuck all to do with the light you're right this was a foul king <laughs> He, he wielded the foul magic of warlocks, but his people were all light-worshipping people. It was fire, primitive light mages. It's just, it's weird to me. There's so many people that don't know the early lore. Wait, what? Check out uh, Revelation WoW. It's private server. They're doing full world update. All I know is this could be interesting if true. Could be interesting if true. That's where I'll leave this. Okay? I'll, I'll leave it at that. And then I'll leave the rest of you to sort of make up your own minds about... Is this real or isn't it? I don't, I don't really, I love covering leaks like this because leaks can go both ways. You can literally just have fun with a leak, right? Because you don't know. So it allows you to dream. It allows you to go, oh, wait, is this real? Could it be real? Oh my God, this would be so fucking cool if it happened, right? An Australian sound trader. Katrina stars, that's entirely possible. Fallon, what do you mean, you Final Fantasy fourteen? We're about to fight our first primal, bitch. I'm about to become a god in this game. Like, you've never seen the world first, Ifrit. You've never seen anything like this, bro. I'm gonna hit this fucker so hard his head's gonna spin. Anthriox, that's cool. Talk nerdy to me, please. Arian Alvin, how you doing, brother? Hentai game? Hentai game, I'm out. <laughs> Alright. Did you go to level 35 on my black page last night? Nice, Natalie. Fucking nice. Um, my first dagger? Oh, yeah. Okay, we have to go... Quite far. Fallon, that's fine. If you guys don't like this game, I completely understand that. You're welcome to keep hanging out and talking to me about whatever the fuck you want to talk about. Um, I don't really, like... I, I don't overly get involved in the game to the point where I, I'll still chat about just about fucking anything. Because there's a lot of running in the game. But I'm having fun. I'll say that. I am having the time of my fucking life in this game. Plus, I'm, I'm about to kill Ifrit on my Black Mage. Do you know how much fucking how, how much fun that's gonna be? Lady Black, how you doing? Won't leave just because of the game, by the way. Fallon, that's great. There's a there is people that leave because I played this game. There's a number of people that don't like me playing this game, and that's perfectly fine. I, I don't judge people for not liking this. Lady Black, thank you for the prime sub. Really appreciate that. Welcome to the Fat Fuckers Club. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I have got to go have fun. Uh, Katrina Stars, take care of yourself. Thank you very much for hanging out. No, talk to this dude. Psh, psh, call. Who is this uplander come to taint ring with Mutamix bubble, bubbly pots? I hate reading this guy's voice lines. This is, this is a nightmare. Listen to this. 
I'm, I'm glad this guy doesn't have actual voice lines, because fuck me. Um, Doomhammer, how you doing, brother? You're not reading any of my messages? Oh, I'm so sorry, Doomhammer. I'm so sorry I missed yours. I really apologize. Apocalypse, get fucked. I read a lot of your messages. Um, Fighty Tool drinks in Airy South. Right. When full of Airy South, Fighty Tool changes to Stony Shine, name of Materia. If Materia join with other Fighty Tool, then Big Eyes Fighty Tool gains power of Airy South. <laughs> Can he has? Thank you for the gift that's up, dude. Really appreciate that. 13 gifted subs in the channel. Thank you very much, Kanye has. All right, this gets worse, by the way. Psst, Mutamix is reckoning that Uplander is friend of Manfilia. True. Yes. Tongue flaps reach ears of Mutamix with fastness. Manfilia wants Uplander to see power of materia. Uplander brings fight the tool to Mutamix. Yes. God. Scott. Fighting tool is unstrong as eating tool. Make good teachy show of power of materia. Right. The materia master. Perfection. How you doing, brother? Now eyes of uplander point at fighty tool. Yes. Psh. Ko. Materia. Fi join with fighty tool. Fighty Tool gains power of Materia. Fighty Tool reborn. Here, Uplander. Take Fighty Tool to Manfilia. Give me a headache. You're not alone. Materia, strictly speaking, is a kind of crystal. It is created by drawing out the etheric cons constituents from a piece of equipment and then crist crystallizing them. Not just any old equipment will serve, mind you. It must have sufficient spirit bond. That being a measure of how fully an item has been imbued with its owner's spirit. When you attach a piece of materia to gear, you imbue the host item with its power. That's how Master Mut Mutamix turned that dagger of yours from Summit as would have struggled to cut stake into a weapon worth wielding. Psh, scaw. Uplander wishes to be joiner of materia. Then Uplander base full brain case with no wings of crafty making. With no wings of crafty making, Uplander can become joiner of materia. If Uplander wants brain case to rattle with knowings of materia, Uplander best trade tongue flaps with learning ones of Mutamix. Fuck me. Akon may have to move podcast recording forward an hour or back a couple of hours on Sunday. Shami arrives on the 15th and starts her au auctions like five minutes before we usually finish. Stop, stop, starts her auction. What auctions? Is she selling off her nudes? Oh, yeah, I need to go to Vesper Bay. Yeah, uh, reading. Try reading those fucking voice lines, bro. Hey, if, if she's got the booty, why not? If she's got the booty, why not? I'm starting to have an allergic reaction again, which is fucking annoying. We'll go sort that out in a minute. No, no, this isn't the bee. This is just normal allergies. Um, I don't know why it's flaring up so much now, but I'll go sort it out in a minute. Welcome back, Akalon. I trust your visit was good. Yeah, sure it was. Here you go. That's your dagger. Ah, what a remarkable difference a single piece of interior can make. Granted, the skills needed to manipulate the substance are not easily acquired, but one need only look upon the results to realize such efforts are worthwhile. I still have no fucking clue how materia actually works. I'll show you guys in a minute exactly how it works, but it is weird. And that's a ding. Level 27. Why not? All right, so... Um... If you look at this item that I have here, right... It has a spirit bond of 27%, which means I cannot yet extract materia. However, 
when I get a weapon that's got like a 100% spirit bond, I can actually extract materia from it, which means that I extract one of its like stat bonuses. So if it gives crit or whatever, then I can extract that from it and that will give me, you know, that, that'll give me that stat. Even though it's... I don't know how to put the stat into your gear after that, if that makes sense. And we have a new weapon. Not a weapon worth using. So we'll just move on. We're about to go. Big booty bitches. We're about to fucking go. What has arrived from Fancred concerning our ongoing investigation? It appears he was able to extract some information from our friend Angus, the false prophet. Um, I would have you provided to them, Akalon. Thancred is presently attending to another matter, but will join you as soon as he is able. Until such time as he does, you will be the Scion's sole representative on the ground. Before he left, he bade me to tell you, save some for him, such as his confidence in you. All right. Here we go. I know that it's like game crafting. As I said, my issue with it is more a case of I don't know how to put the gems into it. Oh, so I have to be a crafter in order to do it. That sucks a fucking bit. I would understand if the crafters were the ones who had to make it, but... All right, Flame Sergeant, what can you fucking tell me? Yeah, yeah, I am that guy. Now, send me off on my fucking merry way. Let's go kill Ifrit. Oof, more running. I have to have an NPC do it or have a crafting class. I haven't found a single NPC that can do it though. You can be a flame sergeant if you want, Apocalypse. No one's standing in your way. Be whatever you want to be. Live your dreams, bro. You just be the best version of you you can be, Apocalypse. What a 660? Can you play Final Fantasy on an AMD CPU PC? I watched a video yesterday saying that now, if you buy a gaming laptop, you should buy one with AMD CPU. Uh, I have an AMD CPU, a 66, and I'm playing it just fine. There's not a single game that I know of on the market that doesn't work on either Intel or um, AMD. I use it in capitals, I think. I've, uh, to be fair, I haven't looked that fucking closely. Me, I've got a 5900X. All right, here we go. Big story time, proceed. Let's do this. Let's fucking do this. My fucking lip keeps swelling, bro. Really? Let me down, Sag. Alpocalypse. Just play a normal fucking class like everyone else. Is the bed in place. Our man is in position, sir. Good. We make our move as soon as the Amalja disappear. Oh, appear. Yes, sir. Look at these buff boys. Look at them. Ladies, uh, what do you think of this bold? These boys are buff as fuck. What is the meaning of this? Wait, something's a mess. Oops. This fucking Ungast. He sold us out, the bitch. I knew it. Traitorous flame soldier. Oh, there's other people that sold us out too? I'm making concessions. I totally play if I could spend all day breeding and selling chocobos for players. Two players waddling around with the Tonberry being a champion chocobo breeder. But I can't, so the flaws are still too big. There's no flaws. My 
god, this guy. I'm afraid your little ambush ends here. I eluded the mortal flames clutches for moons before finally being caught. Did you not wonder how I managed it? It was almost as if someone was feeding him information from the inside. He just, he looks sketch, doesn't he? He looks fucking sketch. Aye, your very, your every movement was known to me ahead of time. Now, as much as I'd love to chat a while, I have appointments to keep. They're all yours. This fucking bastard. And here we go. Time for war. Garuda, how you doing? The job was fine. Thank you very much for asking. Bit tiresome, but good. Actually, let's do this one. Why can't I attack with this? What do I have to do in order to be in this? Oh, I've level synced out of it. Never fucking mind. Well, that sucks a little. I was hoping I could try out my new Thunder 2 spell. Seems I'm not going to be allowed to. Alright, let's do some AoE. I've got you, fam. I fucking got ya. I fucking got ya. Oh. Come on, pause of level sync. I fucking hate that. I was so looking forward to being able to do the big boy fucking thunder spell. All right, we have to take care of these bastards. Let's get them down. All right. Right in the deck, bro. Eat it. Eat shit. I could probably get this guy down if that was part of the rules of the story. I think I could get him down. You guys, don't move. Don't move. I've got this. I've got this. Oh, right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I can't fucking do it yet. Get some mana back. Oh, right, here we go. It's my time to shine. All of this AoE is mine. God, they're so overpowered with AOE, bro. I've got this, I've got this. Just stand still, everyone. Calm down. Remain calm. I've got this. Demon Hunter. Oh, and Panda. DH. No me cry. What? these guys if i don't think there's a way to win this i'll try nope i mean in my opinion no class race restrictions at this point for world of warcraft Fuck playing panda. Put up your weapon or your comrades. Put up your weapon or your comrades a dead man. Oh, what a bitch. I survived this. Oh, no, I didn't survive that. Yeah. Fuck playing panda. I don't play pandas, bro. I have one panda, and that's my monk, and I don't like him. The rest of you march. All right, here we go. It's time for the good shit. It's time for the good shit. 
Try not to be warlocks. Won't break lore anymore with the Legion being freed. Just have the Eridor be playable. Time to invoke the power of cancel culture. You can fucking try and cancel culture me as much as you want, bro. Like you've lost some weight. That's terrible. Have a I fear the Imagine mean to give us the god. Because of the physical body makes sense. For example, Torren is too big to be rogue. But all races should be able to play every magic class. Is Torrent too big to be rogue, though? I'm pretty sure a cow could be sneaky. Like, just... Like, they, they, maybe... Maybe they're rogue and they don't go invisible. They turn into an actual cow. Like, they go on all fours. And then people think, oh, this is not a threat. This is just a cow. And then as soon as the Torrent is behind the character, then he goes, stabby, stabby. Right? Like... I, I do think there's things that you could do to get around the whole too big to be a rogue thing. Makes sense. Just look at Bane. Zero noise since 9.0. True. Uh, you can be orc rogue, panda rogue, but somehow a cow is too far. Truth. All right. Who wants to do Ifrit? Is there anyone that plays on EU that wants to do Ifrit? Gotcha, bro. I just quickly want to go drink a, a tablet. One of those tablets is going to knock me the fuck out. Give me two seconds. All right. Ava Adore, thank you for the prime stuff. Really appreciate that. 18 months in a row. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ava Adore, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for that. I hate these tablets, by the way. Look at these little bitches. And they cause so much fucking trouble. Does it really get that hard, Neblin? That's good. I like things that's hard. All right, so no one else wants to do Ifrit. Oh my God, that's so quick. Fuck. Oof, guess that leak was mostly fake. Sig Sigvald who? Evil dude, why not? Wait, a Gruda wanted in? Okay, hold up. Don't don't go in just yet. Let's quickly see. Uh Agruda, add me. Just send me a friend request. If you're on EU, you're welcome to send me a friend request. Playing Final Fantasy, learning the lore. Uh, Nebulum, in a way, in a manner of speaking, yes. Uh, I already have one character that is level 54, but I decided to start over for stream. Since a lot of people, when I played my Heaven's Ward character, they didn't know the story as it started. And so they, they just sort of went, oh, well, fuck it. Who cares? You know, I can't follow the story because I don't know what came before. So I just started, I decided to start over. Uh, Rakesha, how you doing? You're welcome to help. You're more than welcome to help. Golgoth, I've never played Star Wars, no. Uh, Swatter, I've never played. But I've heard that it's really fucking good. Alright. Gotcha. Hmm... Unable to send party in my player's online state is set. Uh, I can't invite you. 
Oh, it's safe to busy. That's why I can't invite you. How do I fucking accept it? There we go. Gotcha. All right, who's tank and who's what? Because we have space for one tank and one DPS, I think. This is... Wait. This is a trial. It's eight man or is it four man? What's a trial? I don't know what this is. Is this eight man or four man? Is this eight? All right, fine. Uh, I can invite everyone then. I've invited you. I've invited you. If there's anyone else that wants to join, you're welcome. Role requirements are not enforced for this duty. What does that mean? Oh, we don't have a tank, I think. Yeah, if someone can tank, because it, I think that's why it said the role requirements are not being enforced here. Hard mode and later trials will be eight man. I can't wait for the eight man stuff. All right, let me know when you're ready. I want to do all of these with no echo. No echo and minimum item level. Gogoth, I'm, I'm more than happy to. Although right now, I'm, I'm all about this fucking uh, Final Fantasy. Lord of the Inferno, hearken to our plea. Lord of the Inferno, deliver us from our misery. O oh, mighty Ifrit, Lord of the Inferno, your humble servants beseech you, grace us with your divine presence. Here we go. What up, bitch? Huh. Oh, mighty Ifrit, we bring before you ignorant savages who know not your godhead. If, if it please you, Lord, scorch their heathen souls with your cleansing flame and mark them as your own. Bloody hells. Bring those two as well. Oops. Uh, <laughs> what's going on? This ain't what we agreed. None but servants of Lord Ifrit may behold the right of summoning. The souls of unbelievers are forfeit. No, spare me. I beg you. All right. So for those of you that don't know what's going on here. So the primals have this sort of thing where they basically steal your soul. They will go through it in a minute, but they... So, once a primal have sort of stolen your soul, you can no longer do anything but serve it. Arise once more as my loyal minions. Feed my flames with your faith, and all who stand against us shall burn. It does nothing to me. Whoop, whoop. Oh, mighty Ifrit. My one true god. Marathay, thank you for the follow. Really appreciate that. See, now they're all just, your words are my bread. Except for me. Impossible. By what sorcery do you resist my master's will? Could it be? Your soul already belongs to another? Yes, that is the only explanation. All right, Ifrit, you and me, baby. It's time to bitch slap your cheeks. Forsooth, thy frail mortal frame can serve as vessel to the blessing of but one. Yet I smell not the taint of another upon thee. The truth of thine allegiance waxeth clear. Thou art of the godless, blessed, blessed numbers. 
The fuck kind of language is that? The Paragons warned of thine um, abhorrent kind. Thine existence is not to be suffered. Oof. Let's go. Marathay, thank you for the first time chat. Really appreciate that. Welcome to the stream. All right, it's go time. I'm about to spank these cheeks. I'm ready. Quick deeps, quick deeps, quick deeps. Oof. Right. Oh, I should have switched already. Fucking hell, that's unnecessary. All right, we got this. This is easy life. Should I switch? Should probably switch, right? Wait, why can't I fuck? How did I just de chat? Never mind. Never mind. I got this. I got this, fam. Fuck's sake. Stop interrupting my casting. Little bitch. Good job, me. Are you using fire against the fire god? Yes, but I have that magical fire. This fight with no echo is uh, a lot harder. <laughs> Here we go. My first crystal. I am becoming a god, just so that everyone knows. By the power of the light. Let's do this. And now Thancred is gonna show up. Pray forgive my lateness. Bro, you are very late. I was delayed by a con congregation of Amalja zealots, I swear. Each seemed more evangelical than the last. Persistent lot. Cool skill. Phew. I see the Bloodsworn wasted no time extracting the captives, no less than I expect from the Flame General's handpicked men. I bet you will become unstable and need to unite everyone to avoid becoming a bomb of coolness, but with the power of friends who were once enemies, you and Eorzea will be okay. Um, actually, no. Apocalypse, you are very wrong. As for those two, I think it's fair to say. I feel like you an apology, Akalon. Had I known this mission would prove so dangerous, I would never have left. Bro, we went to go fight Ifrit. How could you fucking think that it wasn't going to be hard or dangerous? Of course it was going to be dangerous. Whenever you can become a god, this is what happens. But let's continue this conversation in more agreeable surrounds. Camp Drybone, shall we say? This way, sir. So that was the mighty Ifrit. A 
and what a, dis what a disappointment he was. The readings are nowhere near what I had anticipated, even taking Uldan interference into account. You should know better than to rely upon five-year-old data left by the 5th or 7th Legion. Nor can we expect any form of support from the Motherland, given the troubles caught. We have only ourselves to rely on. Ever the pessimist, my dear Livia. Promise me you'll never change. We've wasted enough time here. That meter of yours is too old to give any reading worth a damn. Not that there was aught worth a damn for it to read, but I take your point. I suppose we must contend ourselves with the knowledge that we've achieved our primary objective. Yet I find that I am troubled by that adventurous, unexpected show of strength. Could such a foe prove a hindrance to our plans? Yes, Nero. Perhaps, but that is a con consideration for another time. As part of your comment about old enemies, summarize the whole Final Fantasy XIV storyline. <laughs> Somewhere right. You have been given a task. That is your priority. I suggest you treat it as such. Failed to do so as my lord. Failed to do as my my lord commands. And I will spare him the trouble of punishing you. Ah, oh, she's quite the bitch, isn't she? With allies like that, beware, of woman in love. I shall need to be on my best behavior. Wait, she's in love with him. Good fuck. Right. Thank you very much for help, guys. Really appreciate that. Time to go back to Camp Drybone. Tancred. Let's hear what he has to say. There you are, Akalon. Come rest a while. You will have no better opportunity after witnessing their god's ignanimous defeat. The Amalja will be less inclined to risk our wrath, for a time at least. Now, where were we? Ah, yes. I was in the process of apologizing. I do hope you can forgive me. I arrived too late to be of any use to you or the abductees. No, she is in love with the Imperial General. That is weird. He's an ugly fuck. Always interactive. I flame the shit out of the Weebury all the time. <laughs> they may be whole of body but the body but the same cannot be said for their minds for once a man is tempered ah uh, but it's still but it ill suits me to dwell on the negatives amidst all of the misfortunes there is still reason to rejoice ifrit is slain and by your hand no less so yeah that's sort of the bad thing as soon as a primal tempers a living mortal you have to kill them like there's literally nothing you can do for them they're just fucked. They can't be saved. That is the deed of no ordinary individual, Akalon. Not that I ever thought you were ordinary. On the contrary, I've long suspected that you have the potential to shape the fate of this realm. What can I say? My fine eye for talent remains undimmed. Minfilia will be proud beyond all reckoning when she hears of your deeds. I trust you shan't object to my bearing the tidings to her. That way, I can claim to have contributed something to this mission. You, meanwhile, have earned yourself a rest. Take some time to relax and return to the Waking Sands when you are good and ready. We can discuss matters in more detail then. Just don't take too long, will you? The realm's problems won't solve themselves. Yeah, I'm coming. I have nowhere else to be. Literally nowhere else to be. Apocalypse, you are right about what? That, that this is sort of friends who become enemies who become friends? I mean, the game does have that sort of storyline. There's plenty of enemies that eventually become friendly. If not friends, at least friendly. And become a Gigabomb boy? No. At least not as far as I've played. Something does happen, but you don't turn into a bomb. Triumphant Euro returns. Thank you told us the news. You're very welcome, bro. Let's go, Menphilia. Oh my god, this Menphilia, bro. I want to get married whenever I see her. She is so fucking bay. My late rival nearly cost Akalon his life. I wasn't there when the Emolja took him prisoner. 
and I wasn't there when they served him to Ifrit. Ilfrit. Yes, by some miracle he survived, but that does not excuse the fact that he should never have had to face such dangers alone. I failed him utterly, just as I'm failing you all. What's done is done, Thancred. You can ill blame yourself for every... I still have dopamine from Akko epically smacking around that chat uh, that chat troll. I love when people come into chat trying to talk shit, bro. A rainbow laser against the big boss at the end with their combined love. I Why is there so much hate for this game now? Good to see you again. You too, my lady. Fuck if she's not waifu, bro. Like, there's not a single guy in this chat that can tell me he would not fucking wife Menphilia immediately. Impeccable timing, my friend. I have just finished regaling Menphilia with your heroic exploits. Tancred has told me everything. You have done well to return to us. The perils you faced were undeniably great, yet a part of me believes that I had no cause to fear. And now we can put paid now we can put paid to our long investigation. Salty about the success of Final Fantasy XIV? That's no hate. That's literally what happens in animes 90% of the time. I wouldn't wife many. I'm a Yastola simp. No spoilers. You can be a Yastola simp. Uh, Menphilia is waifu. 100% Menphilia is waifu. What picture is this, Apocalypse? <laughs> oh. Apocalypse, I would agree with you. I I would agree with you. If it wasn't for Menphilia. This girl may just be a drawing. Doesn't matter though. She is a fucking sizzling. But he doesn't think wife. Tatura's wife material. I have to... Doing app and stuff. I hate doing app and stuff. Bro. Garuda, we've spoken about this. If you feel in any way, shape, or form sexually attracted to any of the potato people, you have to phone the police yourself. That way, you'll get some lenient circumstances. Like, the police will be lenient with you. But there is nothing normal about liking the potato people. Nor is this tale limited to Uldar. Similar incidents have been rife in both Limsa Lominsa and Gridania of late. I dare say you've been curious as to how these crimes are linked uh, to the primals. Permit me to explain. Having manifested in the physical realm, primals, primals must consume ether if they are to maintain their presence here. And the stronger they become, the more ether they require. Now, ether exists throughout creation. It flows through all life and permeates the very air that we breathe. Rhythm Mage, thank you for the sub. Did really appreciate that 17 months in a row. Thank you, thank you, thank you, brother. Um, I got muted. I got muted on a Doctor Who Discord server because I called the TV show's next season, season 13, and they were like, it's series 13, and I was like, I'm not going to argue semantics, and they muted me. The fuck's the difference? Series, season? Is there, is there really a difference between the two? That, that's that gatekeeping bullshit. It is for this reason that incidents involving crystals can often be traced back to a primal, which leaves us with the why of the abductions. To understand this, you must first understand how primals are born. When all is well with the world, primals possess no physical form. Their essence is dispersed across the great river of ether. This is so fucking cool. This is where we get to the big brain lore of Final Fantasy, right? So, just listen to this. When all is well with the world, primals possess no physical form. Their essence is dispersed across the great river of ether. However, when the world is plunged into chaos, those who worship the primals cry out to their gods for deliverance from suffering. These cries serve as a beacon towards which a primal's essence is irresistibly drawn. If 
It is this coming together of etheric coalescence which grants the being's physical form. Once born, a primal gains strength from its followers' worship. The more numerous and fervent they are, the more powerful their god becomes. But the primals are seldom satisfied with such reverence as their adherents freely give, and in order to gain more power, they do not scruple, scruple to create followers. They do this by tempering mortals, a process to which you yourself were subjected. Yet, even as Ilfred took your comrades in his thrall, you alone remained unaffected. This is thanks to the power you possess, the Echo. We know not the why of it, but those blessed with the Echo are immune to primal influence. It is as though a greater power protects us. When first you came to us, I told you that the Echo would be instrumental in dealing with the primal threat. I trust you now begin to see why. The recent incidents all share a common trait. Meticulous planning, such elaborate designs are a new development, and one which fills me with an unshakable sense of foreboding. While I share your concern, my presiding feeling is one of relief at your safe return. Why do you love Thancred? Thancred is cool, but still. What's the difference, Apocalypse? Like, genuinely, what's the difference between a series and a season? Than Chad. Oh my fuck. Really? <laughs> really? You guys are seeing Thancred here, and you see Minfilia, and everyone is geeking out about Thancred. Bro, I could have dreams about Minfilia. That's how hot she is. Have you yet to see their final forms? How can you hate Minfilia? <laughs> Jesus, that makes no sense to me. How can you hate someone so perfect? Best waifu? She is the best waifu. The fuck are you talking about not the best waifu? Ah, the immortal flames assured me that they will deal with the aftermath, so you need not concern yourself with that. We may rest easy for a time. I suggest you take full advantage of the respite, Akalon. Yeah, but in the way that they've described it, Apocalypse, they meant series as in this is series 13. But isn't all the Doctor Who's effectively, do they not follow on each other? Artisian Bulls, how you doing? Thank you for the first time chat, ladies and gentlemen. Tenshi, popping in for a visit. How's the stream going? Artisian, can't fucking complain. Tenshi, happy to have you here. Ladies and gentlemen, as you guys know, uh, Artisian Bolts is one of the sponsors of the channel. And we're lucky enough to have them join us here. So can we say hello to Tenshi from uh, Artisian Bolts? They do, but it's timey-wimey, spacey wasty shit. Does mods get corrupted with power and use it for evil purposes? What do you mean? Aron, how you doing? Character looks very good. Minfilia is bay, bro. They 100% fucking bay. You know, that's what I mean. Not anything to get muted over, especially since most people know Americans use season instead of series. Then we told you the good news about your code soon? No. What good news? Tenchi. To be doubling it up to $200 off soon. Oof. You hear that, ladies and gentlemen? If you want to build a PC, you can get up to $200 off. Send you new panels to reflect the changes in the coming weeks. I am looking forward to that. I actually have one of my mods, Tenchi, that um, is waiting for money to clear, and then they want to build a PC through you. And they want to watch you do it live as well. <laughs> Which, by the way, is the coolest thing ever. Ferorius, thank you very much for gifting a sub to Artisan Bolts. 
Uh, awesome. We will definitely do it live. Love that. Sweet deal, Akko. Ms. Morgan, I think so. I think one of the biggest things, and this genuinely isn't meant to be a plug, but I've said this before. As far as I'm concerned, one of the best things about Artisan Builds is the fact that you get all of the boxes. Like, literally all of the boxes for all of your components is shipped to you. Which is often one of my biggest problems when you when you get to system integrators is the fact that you you get your PC, but if something breaks, you don't have the box, you don't have the serial codes, there's fuck all you can do. Especially in South Africa, where if you want to... So for me to, in, uh, to ensure my PC, I had to send every single code, like every serial number for every component to get it insured. You can't do that with, with system integrators. So... As far as I'm concerned, that is just... That's, like, crazy. And then, of course, the fact that you can fucking watch them build it. I actually forgot about the warranty. That's actually good. Thank you very much for reminding me. Yes. Five-year and three-year warranty on labor and parts, respectively. Tell me who else does that. Because I can tell you now, I've seen a couple of other system integrators who uh, do one year. I think... Um, who is it? Uh... Gamers Nexus, Steve from Gamers Nexus, uh, he was recently looking at another system integrator and they do one year on service and I believe one year on parts as well. That's the, that's the warranty that you get. Which is like, what the fuck? Uh, by the way, Tenji, I, I do want to ask, have you ever thought about, um, have you... Like, have you ever thought about contacting Steve from Gamers Nexus? Because he's doing that, that... Like, he's doing a series right now where he's sort of ordering PCs from uh, system integrators and then doing a breakdown of how good this system is and whether or not this is a good place to buy uh, your PC from. And considering he's one of the biggest names, it should be fucking good. Talk to him. That's good. That's good. I would love to see him do one of your PCs. Because I've watched the build process on Twitch. And it's better than what I can do. And I'm pretty good at building PCs. Uh, see this account? Come by and visit. But it will always be Tenchi. All right. As long as, you know, they always just say who they are. So I don't just have to go out to see and how you're doing. Do they make vodka cool PCs? I'd really like one. For what, Rin the Mage? So halfway through the fucking... Halfway through the raid, you can go... Uh, fucking drunk as a skunk. Sorry, guys, can't play anymore. I'm fucking drunk. <laughs> That's not how this works, bro. You're a gamer. Gamers don't drink. Get your shit together. Oof, this Manfilia, bro. I don't know why people hate the fact that she don't, doesn't do anything. Like, just explain that to me. Who gives a shit? She's hot. No one ever looks at a girl that's hot and goes, Yeah, but you know, she can't leap tall buildings. Who gives a fuck? She's hot. Whether she intended to or no, Minfilia neglected to tell you something. Something I think it would be best you heard from one of us. It concerns the tempered abductees that was rescued. I am sorry to report that all are, put, are to be put to death. The flames with whom you were imprisoned included. Needless to say, this information must not be made known to the public. There is anarchy in South Africa in some regions due to the local government. Around where? Wait, really? I didn't see anything. Hold up. I'm I'm looking. When the fuck did this happen? Uh it was actually post cold water and some green dream. The areas in South Africa where more people are employed than working. Land expropriation, Western Cape government says property rights cannot be done away with. Um Cannabis company plans listing after being handed first rights to grow and package weed. The Joker virus has returned. AMD Radeon RX. Rant rate stronger overnight. SA Weather Service warns of intense cold front on Thursday. Uh, what you need to know about emergency tax relief measures offered by SARS. Ramaphosa wants MPA to investigate Busisuiwe Mkwebani. Uh, Finance Minister Gog 
Kodongwani tables draft law for extra billions from the national kitty. Government walks back on plan to scrap school holidays. PayPal to let UK users buy, hold, and sell cryptocurrencies. Witcher 3, Sands of Ophir, fan expansion set in Desert Resurfaces. While well, I was getting a big island, what Steam's most wishlisted games tell us about. Uh, how how distressed i'm not seeing anything here about like fucking uh anarchy she made me walk back and forth 12 billion times she is yet to redeem herself i shall never forgive her for this that but thank is sexy so i've already forgiven her and i had to walk the same amount of fucking time i heard the rumors uh Sephira. i heard the rumors and so we, Scions, continue our fight, that no more innocents need be sacrificed. I hope that you will continue to stand with us. Yes, I want to get to fucking Heaven's Ward, but I should be going. I must offer my apologies to the Fame General for the losses his people suffered. Till next time. Gods forgive me. How many more lives Louis Suave would never have allowed this to happen? I have to do better. I have to be stronger. Of anguish and PTSD flashbacks. Rin the mage, just forgive her. Forgive her. She's so sweet, look at her. So sweet, so sexy. Just forgive her, bro. Imagine she's your girlfriend and you know at the end of the night you're going home with her. Then all of that walking is worth it. <laughs> Mavalea is wearing a wry smile. Might it be something to do with your newfound fame? Cecius, she's got them cheeks. She does have them cheeks. Until not so very long ago, you were but one of the many adventurers seeking to make their way in Eorzea. But for your character and courage, you were raised to the esteemed post of Envoy. Thereafter, you traveled the realm, aiding those in need without thought of reward, confirming to Fancrit that the Scions would benefit from your aid. And no sooner had you joined us than you personally bested the primal Ifrit. The Arbiter is not a fucking waifu. Bro, if you tried to have sex with the Arbor Arbiter, the metal would cut your dick off. Like, off. If you even tried, you'd be dickless. Within minutes. Seconds, even. Something about being flayed alive for reading uh, the signals wrong speaks to me. <laughs> it's true, Nerva. She's no Sylvanas. But fuck if she's close. Um... Like, okay, imagine you had a girlfriend that looked like Menphilia IRL. All right? So imagine your girlfriend looked like Menphilia IRL. You would not be complaining. You would never be complaining. A great deal in a short time and one fame in, do in so doing. Alas, fame does not come without a price, as you will soon discover. We have guests, Aklon, or rather... You have guests. Depends, is she gonna stab me in my sleep? No. Manfilia would never stab you in your sleep. She doesn't fight. If the purpose wills it, then the Arbiter will shape a fitting entrance. <laughs> oh my fuck! Oh my god, you degenerate fuck! I agree, Echo, she is so good. She really is, Doomhammer, isn't she? Ah, Lady Manfilia, radiant as always. See, this guy gets it. Me and this guy, best fucking friends. I am given to understand that the science of the Seventh Dawn hath but recently welcomed a new hero into their midst. I am here on behalf of the Maelstrom, Grand Company of Limsolo Mensa, to offer said hero a place of honor within our ranks. Let me purge you. I'm not into blondes, not gonna lie. How could you not be into blondes? Exactly, Mr. Smoking. Like, I get that you prefer sort of, say, brown hair or black hair or whatever. But blondes are still fucking hot. 
Nothing wrong with blondes. Not either. Dirty blondes are class. I guess I, I don't care. Concerning the fact that I have blonde hair and blue eyes, I find blonde hair and blue eyes very attractive. As you can see, Akalon, your recent exploits have garnered you the attention of the grand companies of Eorzea. Each organization would have Ifrit's bane for its own. To this end, all three have sent officers to court you. Court me? Oh my god. Oof, that's gonna be a night. <laughs> hey, white head cat girls, mommy, you stole up. They would not ordinarily go to such lengths to enlist a new recruit that they have evidence to their high regard for you. That they have as evidence of their high regard for you. Jesus. Random age. <laughs> I'm married to a Welshman, so brown hair, dark eyes are my way to go. Wait, Welshmen have brown hair, dark eyes, all of them? I don't think so since Welshman would be part of the original sort of uh uh anglo-saxons wouldn't the vast majority of or at least some of them most of them or some of them have blonde hair or red hair even i suppose celtic i suppose there could have been a lot of fucking uh influence there Old God speak. I found myself wondering how word of Akalon's deed spread so quickly that the immortal flame should know of his triumph is to be expected. But what of the other grand companies? Tataru. Eep! Fuck me. Uh, your reputation precedes you, Master Lacronium. There's no ordinary man who can face a primal and emerge the victor. The Order of the Twin Adder has need of valiant men such as you. Join your strength to ours, friend, and together, let us ensure that peace ever reigns over the Twelve's Wood. What a pleasure it is to finally meet you, Master Lacronium. My comrades speak of you in the most glowing terms. Why, even before you aided us against the Amulja and their dead primal, yours was already a respected name in Uldar. Our people know you and love you well. An Irish cat girl pops up half of Final Fantasy XIV player base, dies of blood loss, unbalanced in the least. Black hair, blue eyes is always cool to me, but uh, Coleco with ocean eyes is what I got. Cole what the fuck's Coleco? Brown. With her voice, have I spoken? Zieng, you can go fuck yourself with that fucking quote. <laughs> uh, I say this as a ginger. No, uh, my dad has blonde hair, half blonde hair, blue eyes. All of my brothers, blonde, blue eyes. Only my mother that had brown hair and green eyes. But I will admit, though, there is something fucking special about a girl with black hair and blue eyes. Like, there's just something about that. I like my women to have bigger beards than Echo. Oof. That's not a color, though. Coleco is not a color. It's just a funny word. It's not a color. Blue eyes makes me act up. It's hot. It's fucking hot. I guess because it's so rare. Like, black hair, blue eyes is ridiculously rare. Because it's not supposed to be genes that go together. A man of your talents belongs with the immortal flames. Join your strength to ours, friend, and together let us secure a prosperous future for Uldar. The Admiral was not exaggerating when she said you have the look of a hero. Full often does she speak of you, friend. It is only natural that we should want you for the Maelstrom. Join your strength to ours, and together let us see the grand vessel of Limsolomensa to the shores of glory. So who do we join? Final Fantasy, Akalon will die. Wait, who? Wait for you to meet a character. Which character? Brown hair, hazel eyes, Latino, white, 510. Wait, L Latino, white? Ron, how does that work? I've met Yastola. She's all right. Black hair, blue eyes. Oh, fuck. 
go with the Flames Echo since that's your hometown company? Yeah, but does it really fucking matter? That's actually a good point, Bryn the Mage. That is actually a good point. Spaniards are white. I mean, they're not considered anything other than white. So that is actually a good fucking, uh, it's actually a good point. Lady Manfilia. Very well. Though I am quite sure you need no reminding. May have a brief summary of the situation would help clarify your thoughts on the matter. Uh, yeah, okay. I don't need a brief clarifying thing. Your chat kills me. I can't stop laughing. I'm happy to hear that. Uh, <laughs> chat is one of the reasons I love streaming, Rikisha. Serving a grand company means serving the nation to which it belongs. You will be charged with its defense and tasked with its advancing. Okay, I don't care about this. Just give me the fucking choice now. Uh, this is a degenerate chat, just FYI. These are all the people that have been banned from other streamers already. They literally, every single one of the people in this chat, if they go to anywhere else on Twitch, they'll get banned. Insta. It's because their minds are in the fucking gutter the whole time. We could be watching sermons, fucking sermons, and they'll get into a sex chat. We eagerly await your answer. Sure. You're a new watcher. Sure, Lassie. You're the biggest degenerate of them all? Fuck. <laughs> I'm the brain of this stream. Oof. Oof. That's not a high bar, bro. Brains in this stream. Lul. We are the misfits that act on welcome with open arms. He is our king. Happy to be that. <laughs> Good one. I block him before they can ban me. The fuck rat guy, we are doomed if you're the brains. He's not the brains, he's Greek. Um I'm the little personification of the fat fuckers club. Me too. <laughs> are you going to go through the entirety of AR again before you go uh, back to your main? Lavi Black, this is now my main. This is the one that I'm playing now. So I'm gonna try and get to like get to heaven's ward as quickly as humanly possible but on our way there i want to do all of the end dungeons you know the dungeons that you get during arr um like the the patch content i, I want to do all of those like with no echo and minimum item level to really see the challenge that they present quickly as possible Akalon 2021 Hey, we all know that sex is about who comes first, right? If you don't come first, you don't win. This is known. What's a yikes from you, Apocalypse? Tataru. So what are you... I am... I'm sorry about all the attention you're getting, Akalon. I might have sung your praises a little too loudly and often to a few too many people. <laughs> Next time, I'll be sure to hold my tongue, literally, if necessary. Anyway, I expect you want to know where and when the Remembrance servants services are taking place. All right, she's just sending us now all over the world. So here we go. Are you guys ready for massive fucking story time? But doing it solo is also not so much fun. Plus, you can do it in like a tag team duo and still come first. Like, I've always found that the um, the best way to approach sex with other people, if you're going to do it with yourself, really go all for it, you know? But if you're going to have sex with other people, the, the best thing you can do is set the bar really low. So like on your first night, uh, finish within like 30 seconds. That way, if you ever go to like 45 seconds or a minute, she thinks that she's blessed by the gods or some shit. And you, you know, you suddenly become the god of sex. But if you go the first time, like half an hour to 45 minutes, you're going to have to keep that shit up. This means for the rest of your life, even when you're tired, you've got a headache, you're going to have to go 30 minutes to 45 minutes. That, that's just fucking obscene. That's obscene. So set the bar really low 
Because from there, you can surprise every once in a while, right? Swear to God, if I catch any of you degenerate fucks having sex with a goat, I'm going to push the Thanos button. <laughs> uh, you're going for 30 seconds. You better be doing 30 seconds like 10 times in a row. That's again setting the bar too high. That's setting the bar way too high. That is smart. She will bless the purpose for that. <laughs> Fuck off with your purpose bullshit. <laughs> Story time. I lost my son to the Calamity. The three Seed Seers are all together. Some say you couldn't take a step without stumbling over a body. The Seed Seer is also so fucking bay, bro. Our forebears were once strangers in the Twelves Wood. Fearful of the green wrath, they hid themselves in the dark recesses of the earth. Yet they dreamed of basking in the dappled sunlight of the forest. She's got a funny lip, though. Through great effort, they proved their worth to the elementals and were granted a place beneath the boughs. So it was that Gradania was born some five centuries ago. Working hand in hand, the Hure and the Elizan settlers sowed the seeds of our civilization, and soon they were joined by folk of all races. So nourished by the waters of unity and blessed by the light of the matron, Gridania flourished into the great nation it is today. Do you see the Gridanian standard? There, hanging behind the Elder Seed Seer. The entwined serpents represent the unity between humans and Elizabeth. Alphano. And Elizabeth. Elise. 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 Fuck her name, bro. In accordance with the will of the elementals, we have embraced a life of peace. Alas, our neighbors have not always sought the same for themselves. Nor for us. Though we Gridanians <coughs> have no love for war, we have still less for those who would threaten our way of life. Ever have we fought to protect the sanctity of the Twelve. True, wood. Lassie, true. When the Garlean Empire brought its war of conquest to Eorzea, we rallied under the noble standard of the Twin Adder that we might push back the encroaching darkness. And it was we who prepared the ground for the reformation of the Eorzean Alliance, that all the peoples of this realm might stand united against the common threat. Woohoo! Woohoo! You! Five years ago, the Alliance met the armies of the Empire upon the fields of Cartano. It would prove the bloodiest battle in recent memory. Countless Gridanian lives Sephiroth. were lost. Giant Red, what the fuck? As Supreme Commander of the Order of the Twin Adder, ever shall I bear the weight of our people's sacrifice. All right. Alas. Their loss was not the only tragedy to befall us that day, for soon came the Calamity. The scars borne by our forest are a constant reminder of its violence. Our lives have been irrevocably changed, each waking hour a struggle to survive. Driven to desperation, some among us have strayed from the path of I don't know what you guys are fucking talking about in chat. Banditry, poaching, and other unconscionable deeds. To compound our woes, the Ixul have returned in force, emboldened by our suffering. They test our defenses nigh without cease and prey upon the vulnerable. Yes. So beleaguered from within and without. It is of little wonder that our unity now falters. 
Dark times are upon us. Time was a man could the walk the high bloody roads without fear. Oof. On this day, Bay, five bro. years ago, Bay. countless Eorzeans laid the down their waifu. lives that we might behold another dawn. Please join with me in honoring their memory. <laughs> Eorzeans? No, no, not like that. Memory of those you cannot remember, pray tell. Alphano's sister is a bitch, the by the way. destruction wrought by the calamity was indiscriminate. It dealt death to Eorzean and Garlean alike. Yet while we have labored to rebuild our homes, to Squat, rebuild doing, brother? our lives, the Empire has set about raising steel fortresses here in the Twelveswood. Let none be mistaken. The Garleans remain the greatest threat to our survival. If we are to stand against them, we must remember what it is to be united. Our many troubles blind us to the woes of our fellow man. Thence is harmony lost. Yet harmony is the founding Ceases principle no. of Gridania. We are gathered here to honor the fallen. Let them be honored, not only in word and thought, but through concerted action. I bid you, join hands with me once more, beneath the Twin Adder Standard. And together, let us <laughs> heal the forest's wounds. And is this not reasonable? our progeny might live in harmony beneath these ancient boughs. For serenity, purity, and, and sanctity. sanctity. We must think of the children. Woods will uh, be done. Squats, to answer your question, I am loving Final Fantasy. Absolutely loving it. Welcome to the first stream that you've been able to catch. Happy to have you here. By the way, you see those kids there? Or what looks like kids? They're hundreds of years old. Like fucking hundreds of years old. I don't know what race they are yet, uh, if not figured that out yet, but they're apparently like stupidly fucking old. If you'll permit me, Alfie no. Alfie no. And my sister, Alize, at your service. Alize, at your service. I saw at a glance that you were a fellow traveler. Quickly now. This is to all of chat, all you degenerate fucks. You cannot be attracted to either one of these two. They're 17. All right? So I don't want to get any sort of fucking degenerate crap in chat. These are off limits. The, these are off limits. All right? You might call us students of history. Sampling the realm's remembrances in pursuit of enlightenment. They are younger than that at this time in the story? It's possible. I know they're very fucking young. Dump looks like it's been taken down already. At least one image. The other one has been debunked. Yes, I have recorded it. Oh shit, we're missing all of the fucking story here. The controls are peaceful in nature. Oh, they're just giving sort of useful, useless back of background. The Gridanians have no love for war, and they consider open conflict a lost resort. Though they clash with the Ixel ever, ever more regularly, you may be assured that they do so in self-defense. As for the Sulfs, they are as yet bound by a peace treaty, though one wonders how long it will be before it is broken. The Dwellswood was grievously wounded during the Calamity, leaving Gridania vulnerable to attack. The people are hopeful that restoring the wood and thereby the power of the elementals will put an end to their woes. Yet how long that will take, centuries I'd wager. Meanwhile, the Ixel will continue th their incursions, spurred on by Garuda and her insatiable appetite for destruction. Whether the Gridanians like it or not, sooner or later it will come to all-out war, and when it does, the Order of the Twin Adder 
will need all the help it can muster. How valuable might the aid of a capable adventurer prove to them then? Alice is a bitch. Yes, we will restore the wood. But you guys are... You get your heads out of the fucking gutter. That's not the wood they were talking about. And you fucking know it. No, we're not going to Mulwood yet. We're first going to Ulba. We're talking about that wood. Good wood. Alice is amazing. Not at the moment, she's not. Best for last, I like that. Mulweb is not the best. I don't know how people can look at Mulweb and say that she's bay. You guys will see in a second what, what I'm talking about. Voice actress, you'll see. I mean, you don't see her much in the main storyline. All you see from her is her being a bitch the whole time, not wanting to talk to you. And shit, being too cool for school. I guarantee in high school she was that girl that wouldn't talk to you because you're a gamer and a nerd. That's who she is. Moonbreeder? Fuck no. Moonbreeder is not the one. Alright, here we go. Next story. Roban, Roban. Hark, you souls of flame, drawn to the bosom of the desert, where the fire burns brightest and shall rage forevermore. Hurrah, Roban! Where since antiquity, under the sage and judicious rule of the Ul Dynasty. We have wrought sand into gold. Where by the grace and glory of Naldthar have our brave sons and daughters flourished and prospered. I speak of Uldar. <laughs> We're in the mage. This is uh, this is Apocalypse's uh, favorite people. General's back flies the Grand Company standard. Note the sigil. The golden scales of order balance the jewel of prosperity with the flame of might. Yes, I am Great very much aware. many are the gifts our nation has given the realm. In Eorzea's darkest hour, on the killing field. Oh, Apocalypse, I just said that you like fucking potato people. More in blood and gold than we. Thus was the seventh Imperial Legion laid low. So that's how it happened. How soon history forgets. Of the poopy pants, we <laughs> wobbles. Our gates never to return. <laughs> Let us pray for our absent brothers and sisters, <clears throat> that they might know happiness in the great beyond, as Thor's honored guests. Orshafont, I don't know who that is. I can't fair, remember. The price we paid that day would have bought us victory. Alas, they are not. And now, oh, I do like their politics, yes. Into this seventh umbral era, the spirit of sacrifice been raging hey, don't brother. Us our strength is all but dead. Look around you. What do you see? A people divided, downtrodden, and enthralled. Where are the merciful alms of the rich? Where is the just steel of the righteous? Right here, bro. I ask you. Is this the great nation our brothers and sisters gave their lives to save? I do like them you for that, but they're not really capitalists. They're corporatists. Dishonor the name of the immortal flames. It is but a slow death. Our enemies surround us. 
The savage hordes of the Amalja wait beside our roads, strangling the lifelines of trade. Meanwhile, the Garlians make mock of our borders <sighs> and despoil our land of its. He's all long ass speeches, bro. We stand on a precipice, yet we do not act. Whether trader or soldier, monetarist or royalist, <laughs> all must recognize that a divided Uldar stands to fall. Victory and fortune walk hand in hand. John Rekai, what do you mean? Ye who seek glory and wealth, look not to what little you can snatch from your neighbor, but to the boundless wealth of the world beyond. Now is the time to unite. Now is the time to ride forth. In the name of the Sultana, I beseech you. Line not your own coffers, but those of the immortal flames. Seek not to prosper from Uldah, but to restore her to prosperity. As the realm prospers, so shall Uldah. As Uldah prospers, so shall her people. This guy is really getting people riled up. Yeah, Fuck, I'm ready to open a business in Uldah. Together we are one. Your grace. Raubon. Her voice, bro. <laughs> uh, her voice. It's too much. People of Ulda, I, Nanimo, 17th in the line of Ul, address you. Much has been made of the wealth of Ulda. Yet those who measured that wealth in coins and carrots are gravely deceived. For the true wealth of Ulda lies in the health, happiness, and hopes of her people. Beloved subjects, I bid you raise aloft the torch of Ulda, that her flames might serve as a beacon for all Eorzea to see. Long live Nanamo! Glory to the Sultana! For victory and fortune, yeah. stride fearless into the inferno. Torch we of Ulda. By fire reborn. End of minions when people take them serious. Please burn this place down. No, why? Why would you want to burn down Ulda? Forsooth! The time is now! I believe I believe. Fancy meeting you again. Yep. Not really that fancy. It would have been here anyways. A long history with the Amalja, the beast tribes that worship the primal Ifrit. Judging by your look of distaste, I take you have encountered them. The Uldans do not shy from confrontation. If aught threatens their precious prosperity, they will seek to crush it. So have they dealt with Ifrit thus far, smothering his flames each time he is stoked to life. Yet he is but one of several problems. Though they have been quiet these past five years, the Garlians have not gone away. Meanwhile, refugees continue to arrive in droves, and Uldar has no clear policy on how to deal with them. After all, not even the Sultanate's coffers are bottomless, and even assuming they had the coin, resources will ever be finite. Which brings me back to the subject of Ifrit. It has been observed that the Amalja are summoning him with ever-increasing frequency. Every time they do so, the Uldan send their forces to smite the Primal, and though they in invariably succeed, each victory is bought with blood. It is a war of attrition, which they cannot well sustain. Small wonder, then, that the Immortal Flames are eager to recruit more members. At such a desperate hour, an avenger of your experience would be a most welcome addition to their ranks. For their sake, I hope that the Flame General's words struck a chord with you. I don't know yet who, who we're going to join. We have one left, which is, according to some, waifu. Now, I'll, I'll show you why she is not waifu in a minute. And you, you can tell me if you agree that she is waifu, because I genuinely don't think so.
Ah, here we go. One final speech. The Garleans are another matter altogether. So much for our alliance. It's so if I cost chick kind of way? No, but she's not hot. She's not hot. She's not Brothers bait. and sisters of the sea, hearken unto me. Look upon this, our mighty crimson standard, and tell me your hearts do not swell with pride. Seven hundred summers have come and gone since our forefathers first ran aground in this fertile bay. In that time, Guided by the mother of oceans, Limsa Lominsa has grown from humble fishing village to uncontested ruler of the five seas and beyond. <laughs> Did you look as the Admiral bid you? It is a rather stirring standard, I must say. The crimson field is meant to signify the blood of fallen crewmates, while the black longship represents a pirate vessel. When the Galian Empire marched upon Eorzea, we assembled beneath the Maelstrom Standard, and our grand company was reborn. All answered the call, from the Knights of the Barracuda to Ren. Hilfir's bloody executioners. And together, we met our would-be conquerors upon the field of Cartano. That day, the world bore witness to the united strength of Limsa Lominsa. I'm not joining Limsa. You, no army ever fought harder or with more courage. Yet many of ours did not survive. Not joining them. Join me now in remembering those who fought in the name of freedom and fell. May their souls be returned to the sea. I don't dislike pirates. I just don't like freedom. them, Salomensa. Yes, they have always been rather fond of their freedom. But I do like the freedom. Much bit. as the beast tribes have. A small wonder. Beneath the surface, one would struggle to tell them apart. Maybe I should join them. They're all about freedom and shit. Five long years since the calamity struck. Five long years of tireless rebuilding. Yet still the wounds of the calamity fester and weep. But when I stand atop the mizzenmast and gaze out upon our battered and broken vessel, I see an undying spirit. Did we not build all this from the wreck of the Galadian all those centuries ago? Shall we not do so again? Yet there are those who would see this the ship of ours champion. sink beneath the waves of the Crazy man, how you doing, bro? Tarno. The Sahagin creep ashore seeking blood for their accursed god. Nice, crazy. Those fish buck the bastards. The Sahagin have risen? While the mines of Ogomoro spew forth kobolds who push ever south, despoiling our lands as they go. These savage beast tribes will be the first waves to crash against our creaking hull. And crash they will. And behind them swells the grim tide of the Galian Empire. Even now the Kurs fly their flags within our borders. Doubt not, but that they will be upon us ere long. We are well nigh surrounded, yet there are those among us who would rather turn their swords against their crewmates than our cannons against our foes. How can we hope to repel our many enemies when mutiny breeds below deck? There is but one course left to us. Fuck One them all. Oh, no. that will bring us victory over the beast hordes and the empire both and see this ship safe to port we must mend the rift the calamity has reopened twixt pirate and maelstrom and stand fast with our adventurer brothers against the coming tempest 
Mark ye well. A crew without unity is no crew at all. Tis but a mass of drowned men. Oof, that's dark. To me, then, brothers and sisters of the sea, gather beneath the undying crimson standard and pledge me your strength, your skill, your I, wisdom. I don't agree with that, Ren. And with the guidance of the navigator, this great vessel of ours shall ride the waves till sea swallows all. Long live the Admiral! Admiral not yet, that angle isn't doing her favors though. She's not hot. Skull's not hot, bro. Um, and I think A Realm Reborn has an amazing story. I don't know why people dislike it so much. Right. Fancy meeting you again. No, it's not fancy. Of course I'm going to be here. All right, and then he goes on to explain to us why Lumsa Lumsa needs us, which is, you'll see it in the coming story. It becomes very clear why every single one of these nations need us. They're all fucked, if I'm going to be honest. Like every single one of them. Ziang, you thought Moab was, was hot? Moyo Jumbo will be fine without you. No, I'm joining them. Akalon, this is Minfilia. You are well, I hope. After hearing from you, how can I not be my, my lady? Would I be correct in thinking that the final Remembrance servants servers have now concluded? A moment ago, you say, what a coincidence. Chasting aside, I trust you remember our guests from the Grand Companies. Well, delighted though we are to have them here at the Waking Sands, it would not do to keep them in suspense any longer. In short, hurry back. Of course. But I promise you, you will love the race more. They are so good. I'm not doubting the fact that I'd love the race more, but I'm not hating this story to begin with. Mm. Right, so who are we choosing, chat? Who are we playing with? I, mean, I genuinely don't know. The nose bridge, also big ladies, kind of reminds me of Valkyrie and Kyrian. You want to choose Limsa? All right, we'll go Limsa. Limsa, lo Minsa, here we come. Gonna join the pirate people. Frontline, how you doing? Okay, I'm gonna do Limsa. Welcome back, Akalon. With the Grand Company leader's words as illuminating as you had hoped. No, I just asked chat, really. I enjoyed ARR for the most part, but I can't understand why veterans shit on it. It doesn't hold a candle to the Xbox. I personally can't stand a Realm Reborn for one reason. It was tedious. Tedious as fuck. They did a leveling revamp to reduce the amount of quests like six months ago or something, and I did ARR before that. I was so frustrated because I just wanted to do shit with my friends, and I was 90 hours in nowhere near done with a Realm Reborn. Whew. I picked Ulda, Lumsilumans was a close second, Terra or Selys, Tifa to the very least. I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. Are you just making up names now? <sighs> the gods only know what grand company our adventurer friend will keep. Hm. The wheels of change are in motion regardless. Brother, are you certain this course is best? Whatever do you mean, dear sister? The so-called remembrance ceremonies were little more than standard waving rallies. As though the Calamity and Seventh Umbral Era warranted scarcely a mention. Well, of course they were standard waving rallies. Uh-huh. Okay. Since you are so observant, mayhap you noticed what mention was made of the Warriors of Light? None. I suppose they must have forgotten the heroes who spared Eorzea a fate worse than the Calamity? 
No, dear Alizé. They haven't forgotten these details. They have elected to omit them. But why? Deep are the wounds the Calamity inflicted upon Eorzea. So deep, in fact, that the realm still bleeds. It's not my favorite waifu in Final Fantasy. I don't know many characters, though. I don't have a fucking clue who you're talking about. Terra 3D. Needless to say, the beast tribes and their primals do little to alleviate the pain. So, the task of salving Eorzea's wounds falls to the scions of the Seventh Dawn, with a little help from our friends, the Grand Companies. Who's hot? Remembrance will yield no remedy. If our world is to heal, we must put the horrors of the Calamity behind us. I've never played any of the other Final Fantasy games, so I don't have a fucking clue whether they're good or not. Our grandfather would never entrust the fate of the realm to despots who rewrite history to their convenience. Oh, she's a bit angry. And there she fucks off. There must be another way to cure what ails this world, and I need to find it. You are most welcome to try. Our paths may differ, but our destination is the same. In time, I dare say, we will see eye to eye. If you want waifu material, look up Lulu from FFX. <sighs> is she as good as Menphilia? Because if she's not as good as Menphilia, it doesn't matter. We are to escort you. Hope does not come into it. We share the burden of this fate, dear sister, and will prevail together or not at all. Lulu, you say? The salve will serve not only to close up our present wounds, but prevent old ones from opening anew. All right, I'll check. Lulu. Lulu from FFX. Oof. This is some fucking uh, Yennefer vibes. This is some Yennefer vibes. I'm getting Yennefer vibes. This is fucking. Yeah, she is hot. She is bae. But she's giving me Yennefer vibes. Look up Tifa. Uh, also FFX. Or which one is she? Tifa from FF7. Alright. Crazy Man. Thank you so much the gifted subs. Did really appreciate that. Can we get some love and chat for Crazy Man? And nine community subs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Tifa from FF7. That's not right. Wow. Yeah, all right. She's bay too. I'll agree. She is bay as well. <laughs> I can see why people become weebs. <laughs> that Jennifer is a name we give to people with the intelligence of a dog. Look up lightning from FF13. Lightning. This is a bit overdone. She's not bad, but... Yeah, she's hot too. Merlin from Seven Deadly Sins. Oh, fuck my life. Are we just gonna look up hot chicks now? But this is a little bit too anime for me. Like, this is a bit too anime for me. Like, the other girls were okay, but this is a bit too anime for me. Yeah, it's a slightly too anime. Like, that, that's taking it to a whole new fucking level. Uh, let's not, let's not do that. Aerith from Final Fantasy VII. 
Let's let's just let's let's first play a little and then we can look up more hot chicks. I'm gonna go with Storm Officer. We're gonna become pirates. Oh my fuck. Okay, okay, fine, fine. I'll look up Aerith. Where's she from? Aerith from FF what? Sad echo, none of the girls in this game has a huge pair of jugs. What are you talking about? Wow, that is some green fucking eyes. Okay. That is that is a kind of green that that is just very green. And that is super green. But definitely hot. Alright, I'll give you I'll give you guys that. Aerith, and who's the other one that we said was really hot? Um, there was another one that we said was really hot. There's no such thing as far. Tifa. That's the one. So Aerith and Teeth Tifa was really hot. There's no such color as teal. Get the fuck over yourselves. It's a made-up color. Everyone knows that. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna join you guys. Don't worry. I'm coming. Celestra, thank you for the on something really appreciate that. Seven, 37 months in a row. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sub, you absolute glorious fat fuck. Proud to be a member of the Fat Fuckers Club for 37 fucking months. That is insane, brother. Absolutely insane. Right, we're going to the lower decks. No, upper decks. Yeah. Possibly the greatest game to ever exist. Uh, have you forgotten about Witcher 3? You must have forgotten about Witcher 3 if you're saying crazy things like that. Shay, how you doing? I I said before I'll play the the remake if it ever comes to PC. You hate the Witcher. Apologize, Shay. Go sit in the corner and think about what the fuck you just said. No, I didn't join a covenant. This is literally the only thing this is important for, for what I could tell, is getting your mount and then um, PvP. They, it doesn't seem to have any other reason for existence. Hail, adventurer. What business have you with the Maelstrom Command? My name is Akalon Acronium. I believe you are expecting me. Oh, yeah. Cosmetics, okay. But, yeah, it, they don't have much of a, like, real effect, as far as I could tell on the story. Akalon Acronium, I, a recruitment officer, sent word for your, of your coming. It shall be my honor to induct you into the ranks of the Maelstrom. He's just going to give us a whole bunch of fucking stupid talk. We're talking the series, The Witcher. I mean, I tried to watch it. I wasn't drawn in. What? You weren't drawn into The Witcher TV series. How's that even possible? How's that even possible? The Witcher TV series was absolutely fucking amazing. The game was better, of course, but the series was insane. We received a report from the lookout of Lower Lanoskia, sir. Imperial forces are fired upon a high wind Skyways airship. The vessel is in a bad way, sir, and appears to be banking for an emergency landing in Cedar Wood. Cedar Wood, damn it! We have no troops available in that area. The bulk of our infantry is bogged down on the coast, skirmishing with the fishbacks. Lacronium, this is highly irregular, but I fear your first duty in service to the Maelstrom must needs be unofficial. If our man in Lower Lanoskia is correct, the airship will come down in territory crawling with Imperial scouts. If there are any survivors, we must, must reach them before the Galeans do. Make haste to Cedarwood. Locate the airship 
Okay, we'll do that. Right, so we are going to this place, but... This is going to be some fucking travel, bro. How am I going to ever get out? I always struggle to... Read the map. I wish you could experience the Final Fantasy XIV mods, man. I have a few mods that replace all the base textures for hairs, eyes, and face, and body textures. And then I installed a reshade. And my god, the game looks so much better. Not as good as WoW, but much more appealing than vanilla Final Fantasy without mods. The mods even apply to all cosmetics, making them so much more enjoyable. Uh, yeah, I can't sadly install mods. Oof. Fuck me, bro. Okay, where the hell am I now? Oh! What the fuck? Right here? Right here? Can you believe that? Yeah, you're not allowed to have mods. Wait, why did you delete Kicker's message? Andy, what the fuck? Kekers, how you doing, bro? The thing for me is Final Fantasy has a different art style to WoW. And I love both. Like, I, I love both. I have no problem. I requested a ban. Why Kekers? Um, I have no issues with either one. I think WoW does what it does really well. And it doesn't try to be anything else. But I think Final Fantasy does very much the same. Uh, it's not pretending to be the game with the best graphics. It, it's not trying to be that, right? It's like a love tap. True. If you've never been banned in a Twitch chat, you know, have you really lived is the question you need to ask yourself. Like, just look at the fucking sky boxes, bro. I don't know why people dislike the graphics so much. Because I think the graphics look fucking banging, bro. Look at that. So tranquil. So relaxing. Are we close to this fucking airship being downed? The music is good, except not in these, like, initial areas. The initial areas, the music is just non-existent. Let's go. The music is real good in the newer zones. Where? For Final Fantasy? I'd say the music for ARR is also fucking amazing. Uh, that big fuck is hiding behind this small little bush. Yeah, all right. I'll, I'll bite. An adventurer, what are you doing out here? No, wait, let's find some cover first. Karku, how you doing? Maelstrom Command sent you? How do I know you're not an Imperial spy? You don't even have a uniform. I've come to help, bro. Plus HR was caught shredding documents and impeding Kali's investigation. Wait, what? Where did you see that? Are good enough to make in-game cutscenes where the characters actually fight each other without... 
it being choppy and like wow where Andy one looks like weird as shit outside of fully animated cutscenes just a deja vu it's on wow head oh for fuck's sake are you serious oh my god this is if this is true this is not good um, Spans is going to against Activision Blizzard, citing interference from HR. Okay, here we go. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, more bullshit. An amended complaint in the state of California's lawsuit against Activision Blizzard was filed yesterday, expanding the scope of their investigation into widespread harassment and discrimination. As reported by Axios, the complaint now covers temporary contract workers as well as full-time employees, and the Department of Fair Employment and Housing has also leveled charges of obstruction, alleging that Activision Blizzard Human Resources Department shredded documents related to the investigation. The suit claims that Activision has a legal obligation to retain those documents and further alleges that the company that the gaming company has been withholding information relevant to the investigation using non-disclosure agreements to require employees to speak with the company before contacting the DFEH and directly interfering with the state's ability to investigate prosecute and remedy workplace discrimination violations oof these updates follow a report made last month which depicted a human resource department set up to fail employees from the start. Allegations that employees were discouraged from making complaints and that little to no action was ever taken are eerily similar to the complaints made against Ubisoft last year, in which dozens of accusations were found to have been long forgotten, mishandled, or flat out ignored by their human resources department. Now, I do just want to make clear to everyone... I've heard these rumors from my own sources, uh, and these are victims. So I've I've literally had a victim that talked to me about this, uh, who made uh, a, a complaint, who laid a complaint at Human Resources. Human Resources did nothing about that. They eventually decided to email um, Mike Morheim directly, and the email was blocked by HR. And HR basically reprimanded them for trying to go over their heads, right? So I've heard similar accounts of HR basically not doing their job, trying as good as they can to get victims to just shut the fuck up. Um, this is all too common story has been repeated at Riot Games, Square Enix, Electronic Arts, and several other major developers, proving a systemic issue across the industry rather than contained within one studio. During the most recent quarterly investor earnings call, conference call, CEO Bobby Kotick made a strongly worded speech stating that any management or leader found to have impeded the integrity of our processes for evaluating claims would be terminated. The same week, both Blizzard Entertainment President J. Allen Brack and the studio's head of global human resources left the company, though only one of the demands made during the employee walkout in late July has been met so far, with Francis Townsend stepping down as executive sponsor of the ABK Women's Network. Uh, all right, so this is just a bunch of tweets. Um, I... This does not surprise me. I am not surprised in the least that if it turns out to be true that HR did trade documents, because you have to and um, you have to understand, right? Uh, basically, the the Californian Department of uh, Housing and whatever the fuck house it's called, they're obviously now asking for all of the reports from people ever, right? So every report that's ever been filed. Whether it's sort of followed up on or not, we want to see all of the reports and all of the paperwork. Knowing what we know about human resources at Blizzard Entertainment, is there a single person in chat right now that's surprised that they would have shredded the documents? That's surprised that they wanted to get away with this? Is there anyone here that thinks to themselves, no, Blizzard, really? No, no, Blizzard wouldn't do that. They, they'd be forthcoming as fuck. Of course not. Of course not. Blizzard is... I'm almost certain that they're hiding things. And I don't think it's just them. I don't think it's just them. I think this is common practice across the industry. If you're in trouble, straight the documents. Hopefully no one ever finds out, right? Just scrub it. Make sure that it's not there anymore. 
uh, there's a couple of like bad things that comes with this, right? Um, you've had articles recently in uh, PC Gamer as well as IGN. Now, before we even get into those articles, uh, and I'm not going to cover the entire articles. These are long fucking articles, mostly padded with bullshit. It seems to me that every single one of these companies are now basically going out of their minds trying to, uh, shall we say, um, pad their articles so that it's pages and pages long. But effectively, both of these uh, outlets, IGN and PC Gamer, wanted to make the argument that Blizzard like Entertainment specifically is in very serious trouble. Have a I am not surprised. But that is illegal. They should not do this. It's terrible. I think destroying evidence to impair investigation is worse than one single instance of sexual harassment itself, because this will lead to the tolerance of so many instances of those terrible things. Zig Zig, I agree with you, but it also shows HR's uh, constant insistence on protecting those that they are meant to save, right? That's what it shows to me. Now, these articles effectively pointed out that World of Warcraft is in deep trouble. And when we say deep trouble, we do mean to the point of cancellation trouble, right? Um, these, these articles are sort of hinted at the fact that WoW is bleeding more players than anyone ever thought it would. Um, I've, I've had one contact that works for Blizzard who didn't say in so many words that, that WoW is done, but basically said that the game is bleeding more players than they thought it would. So they expected a large number of players to unsub from the game when all of this came out. But they're basically be bleeding players every single day since. Like every single day since. And there's not been much more coming out. So they're effectively seeing their game just sort of die out slowly but surely and according to my contact at least they don't know why like genuinely this is how clueless some of the people at blizzard is they don't know why the the lead developers just sit there going why are people leaving the game this makes no sense um does this mean that wow is dead the only way wow is ever dead is if uh, activision decides that they no longer want the millions of dollars that wow can make for them so i don't think wow is dead I think almost all of these articles are completely overblown um, and really to the point where it's, it's sort of weird to think of the amount of people that is jumping on this bandwagon. But then, of course, you have something like this, which I also think is necessary to discuss. Now, I want to be clear before we even get into this article. Let me be very fucking clear. I think this is bullshit. Straight up. I think you ever made this post it is a moron right and 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 like this is fanfic that is beyond belief <laughs> they, they should have dialed it back like five or six nudges right and then maybe it would have been believable but i mean they go on to say right and okay so there's a couple of things here that that i think is absolutely true right and that, that i don't think is is bad uh, by the way, Minion, we've already covered that. We've we've covered the expansion of the lawsuit. There's a couple of things here. Diablo Immortal, I, I made a video not too long ago where I said that Diablo Immortal is going to come to PC. How do I know that? During the investor call, Bobby Kotick said that they're going to bring Diablo Immortal to more audiences and more platforms, right? Which literally can only mean that it's coming to console and most likely coming to PC as well. So... There is that, okay? Apparently, they have another, according to this guy at least, they have another uh, un untitled Diablo PvP game. As far as Diablo 4 is concerned, and the three planned expansions, according to my contacts, they have at least one expansion planned. Three has never been mentioned to me. Not once. Have I ever heard that they have three planned? I've heard that they have one planned, and if that one does well. So basically, it all depends on Diablo 4. If Diablo 4 does as well as they hope it's going to do, then a, a second expansion will be in the works. If it doesn't do as well, there'll be one expansion, and they'll move on to whatever comes after that, at least from what I've heard. Now, this is where things get 
really funny. World of Warcraft is entering official maintenance mode. The little work that was already put into the expansion after Shadowlands will be released 9.3 sometime in 2023. Get fucked. This is where you know this is a lie. This guy was sitting there jerking himself off, thinking about all the things that he would love to hear, right? This is sort of a hate, hate post as far as I'm concerned. Because... There is no fucking way that 9.3 is only launching in 2023. It's not possible. It is, are you telling me that they're going to have 9.2 run for an entire year and a half before they bring up 9.3? At that point, you don't have to put World of Warcraft in maintenance mode. It'd be dead already. Like, it'd be dead already. If 9.1 lasted for a year and a half, wow, well, it's dead. You may, you may as well shut down the servers and just fucking stop. No one's going to continue playing and no one's coming back for 9.3 when all it is is just to basically update a few things. Uh, 9.3, despite the name, has nothing to do with Shadowlands and is just made up of salvage stuff from 10.0 bullshit classic servers will be merged into one or two with the launch of wrath of the lich king classic in 2023 this will be the last classic expansion planned this i i could i could believe i've said it before i don't think that they're gonna come with classic cataclysm or ca classic fucking uh mists I, I don't think they will i think wrath is a good place to stop the classic bullshit a new untitled, untitled World of Warcraft successor MMORPG is in the works, looking to take a lot from Final Fantasy XIV. This is going to be developed by a majority new team than those who were made and worked on WoW. It is not a sequel, but a total reboot with new lore. Currently only in the planning stage, the base game will focus on Valenes, or Valsene, Va Valences, the Eastern Kingdoms, and Outland, with playable races from both worlds. It is currently believed to, ha to not have factions. I will not uh, it will not borrow from Hearthstone, which will remain separate and continually updated with new expansions. Bullshit. If World of Warcraft was ever going to have a spinoff, if Blizzard ever decided, hey, you know what? We... We don't like where the game is going. We'd, we'd like to get a new game running um, within the, the Warcraft IP. It is almost, as far as I'm concerned, conceivable that they would go back to Kalimdor. And when I say Kalimdor, I mean the original Kalimdor, Land of Eternal Stars, and start whatever new story they want to start in that world. I, I don't see a world. Why Eastern Kingdoms? What happened to Kalimdor? What is the story that you're telling there? Unless, of course, it's an entire Realm Reborn reset where Kalimdor just gets destroyed, right? Which is just really fucking weird. Um, and I don't think I don't think any of this is true. We know that there's a Warcraft Mobile project, Hearthstone spin-off game is coming out. Okay, Overwatch is believed to be unsalvageable. Like that I can actually agree with. Terrible. I think Overwatch is completely useless. Wow, is entering official maintenance status is completely stupid nonsense. Even if they want to do this, there is zero chance they will call this official maintenance. Because if they call it this, no more players will join. Even if they don't want to do anything with this game anymore, they will still release an expansion with little things in it and pretend it is still in normal status, so that people can continue buying store mounts. Actually, uh, Zigzix, no other company has ever done this, right? So every single company that has ever pushed their game into planned maintenance, so maintenance mode, have admitted that. Right, and those games tend to do better after the announcement that they are going into maintenance mode. They they tend to actually have an uptick in subscribers. People come back to the game, um, but it it'll be pretty clear if WoW ever went into maintenance mode. Uh, it it'd be clear pretty clear for everyone. WoW would drop its subscription. Uh, the subscription would become optional. Um, you know, there'd be far more cash shops added or cash items added. To the game it's gonna be pretty clear but this is bullshit right this this entire post is bullshit but you can see the vultures are circling right everyone is dropping on this everyone is trying to get a piece of this if you go on pc gamer if you go on ign they're all fighting fighting for a little piece of the pie right this does not help this story does not help the fact that you have California now expanding their lawsuit 
against Blizzard Entertainment, citing things like interference with the investigation. This isn't going to sit well with players. It's not going to sit well with staff members that, that were the victims of this harassment. And as far as I'm concerned, it's fucking disgusting. If true, want to say with clarity, if true, maybe we should say when true, because it's most likely fucking true. But this is, as far as I'm concerned, the, this is taking a, a company that already is struggling to keep their player base happy and is already dealing with a player base that, that very much distrusts them. And it's just pushing that distrust ever more forward, right? To the point where now you're going to deal with players that realize not only are you not taking responsibility for your actions, but you're also trying to hide your uh, hide your involvement. You're trying to hide your wrongdoings. So if this is true, shame on you, Blizzard. Fucking shame on you. The best thing you could have done here is admit your wrongdoing, hand over all of the evidence, and apologize for it, and say that it will never happen again. Because if this comes out, if this turns out to be true... All of that words from Bobby Kotick and the PR department saying they take the shit seriously and they will do better, you know that it's all smoke. They were blowing smoke up your ass because they were hiding evidence as quickly as it fucking could come out. It's disgusting. Who's Ivy, Shay? I don't know who that is. Oi, chat, be fair, if not kind to one another. Wait, who's not kind to one another? Yeah, it takes reader. Um, I think she's only on tips. I think she's only on tips. I'm not sure. We can check right after this. You look like you've lost some weight. That's terrible. Have a thump. Yeah, it's definitely best to admit those things, apologize, and move on. Look at the Samsung phone explosion case as an example. You can look at almost everything. I think she's on donations, Andy. Just the tip. Exactly. Always just the tip. You know, don't spoil her. Um, we're taking this craft back to the fortress. Dismantle it if you must. I think she's on donations, but we're here now. Scouting party from Case Room Ossidens, I'd say. Seems they want your ship, Engineer. Wedge, you have to help him. That fool of a Lalafal was hiding inside the tiny Bronco. The tiny Bronco? Isn't that the new design people have been whispering about? It's the first airship built since the Calamity. The first since Master Garland. Well, since he went missing. After years of work, she... She was finally ready. She was finally ready for her first test flight, and she was soaring. She really was, until those bastards blasted her out of the sky. All right, pay attention. We're going to hit these Imperials hard and fast. If they want a souvenir from Eorzea, they can have a knife in the gut. But they're not getting that ship. Oh, and don't forget to save the Lalafell. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's do this. To complete the company, you keep Maelstrom. Only 10 minutes? Jesus. All right, on your next stream, I'm heading off. Last year's Babby, thank you for hanging out. Really appreciate it. Take care of yourself. Why do I only have 10 minutes left? The fuck was I doing? Oh, we were reading the article. That makes sense, actually. Um, but it should be okay. We should be okay with this, right? Oh, wait, I can use my thunder thing almost. Go, 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 go. Oh, I can't use thunder thing yet. Why can't I use thunder thing? Oh, because I'm... F oh, for fuck's sake, never mind. I'm again held back by my uh, level. I hate my life so much. Can we make points without insults and attack? Wait, who's attacking who? Wait, no, kill that guy. Yeah, kill him first.
I'm not entirely sure who's attacking who here. Oh, there's more shit coming, of course. Let's just kill this guy first, the main. Uh, thunder. Bring the thunder. To dwell on it further. Sudestra is being extra spicy. They got warned. If they're smart, they'll take notice. I'm not entirely sure what happened, but okay. Sorry. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll reach out in a minute. Let me just get these guys fucking down. Giving us new customizations because they can't control themselves. So, Sinistra, I don't think it's so much that... So, we've spoken about this before. And I don't think it's a case of people in chat are attacking for giving new customizations it's that people sort of understand that this is you know this is how can i put this it's like trying to fix things by playing bait and switch right Ziang, take care of yourself, bro. But yeah, let's not attack each other, please. If you want to insult Blizzard, specifically Blizzard, that's fine. Don't insult individual devs at Blizzard, and please don't insult each other. There's literally zero point in us starting to fight. Shouldn't have stayed with the ship. Like it's a shiny distraction, I can't... I feel the same. I think it is a distraction. But I also think that it's going to be fun for some people, right? Cybersophical, how you doing? Hey, man. Also from SA. Did you feel that sweet damage uh, delay latency with Melee and Final Fantasy fourteen? I'm struggling with it. Not really. I found Melee was fine. Which are you Which are you really struggling with, Cyber? Celestial, how you doing, bro? All right, I know you guys are building a ship. That's good. It's cool. Let's move on. Oh my god, they're not explaining use the shit here. You were very grateful. You're most welcome. We're almost getting our mount, by the way. So close. So fucking close to my mount, bro. Everything to say for devs who have absolutely nothing to do with this lawsuit and just want to make a game. That's super gross to say, man. Celestra, okay, so here's the thing, right? Blizzard, right at the beginning of the uh, of the expansion in Shadowlands, they were asked, listen here, is there going to be any more customization options? And Blizzard said, no. We've done all the customization, maybe in future expansions, but for Shadowlands, nothing new has been planned, Right? Then the lawsuit comes out. It's a crazy fucking... It's a crazy amount of, law, uh, of of negativity around the game. And suddenly, Blizzard is coming up with these customization options that they're adding. No one's saying the customization options are bad. But people are seeing through this. People are saying, hold on. Th this is literally... You're, you're basically... You're trying to band-aid a, a giant fucking issue that we have with the game. You're band-aid... You're band-aiding it. This is a band-aid fix. There's there's far big I mean, if you ask anyone, what would you like for Final Fan oh for World of Warcraft? I do not believe that the vast majority of play players would say new customization options. There's a million new things that that they could do, or a million things that they could do that would actually make people happy. This is not it. So people are and to say that this is unfair to developers who aren't a part of this. It has nothing to do with the developers. Like, look, I'm all for it. Do never insult individual developers, but I will be fucked if I'm going to have to be, like, hold my tongue because some innocent developer is now getting hate. 
I'm so I don't give a fuck. You make a game, you are public. Therefore, if I don't like the direction that you're taking with something, I get to tell you. If you don't like that, then don't make games. It's as simple as that. Same as me as a content creator. If I don't want people attacking me, I shouldn't be a content creator. It's as simple as that. I'm putting myself out there for everyone to see me, right? And that means that I have to be able to catch the slack. That's just the name of the game. And believe me, I catch a lot of fucking slack. I catch a lot of flack. I get attacked a ton, especially recently. Whenever I put out a new speculation video, I get attacked. Whenever I, I talk about World of Warcraft, I get attacked. I can't say don't do it. I'm in the public eye. That's the job. That's life, you know? I don't like the fact that they brought out these customization options uh, with very little else. But now at the same time, I'm not attacking anyone because of it. Because I would like to see what else is being announced for 9.15 before I go and say, this is just this or just that, right? Because it might turn out that they do some amazing stuff, right? Thousand can't get behind this. This is such a bad take. The reversed course for customization and plant them for 9.15, clearly. They would have announced these changes without the lawsuit existing. Man, this makes me feel gross. I want to praise these devs for listening to us. Celestra, do you have any evidence to show that they reversed course for the customizations and planned them for 9.15? Like, any evidence whatsoever to back that up? Because if you don't, then you're that's just like crazy amounts of copium. We have no evidence that this has been planned because literally as of six months ago, we were still told that there will be no new customization options in World of Warcraft. There, there were, there's interviews from six months ago with some of the art developers and stuff for World of Warcraft. The interviews was about 9.15 or 9.1 and some of the questions that was asked was about, I covered these interviews. Uh, they asked about character customization options and they said, nothing planned. So are you telling me that six months ago they, they changed course and they said, okay, fuck, we are going to bring it out in 9.15? The evidence isn't behind this. The evidence does not prove that, that this was planned and that they listened to the player base. I'll tell you what is quite clear. Blizzard is looking for anything they can to shift focus from the bad stuff. I don't blame them for that. I just want to be clear. I'm not blaming them for it. Also, I'm not trying to convince you of anything, Suresha, because I could be wrong. 100%. I could, I could 100% be wrong. You're right. I have no proof. You are absolutely correct. I could be wrong. That's why I choose to go, let's wait and see. Let's wait and see. Currently, my gut feel is that this was a knee-jerk reaction from Blizzard trying to shift focus. That's my gut feel. But I've not made a video on this, Celestra. You asked me in live stream what I thought about it. I gave you my honest thoughts. Not made a video on it because I don't feel strong enough about that. I don't feel so strongly that I'm willing to put my name to it yet. But my gut feel tells me this is not this this was done to shut the player base up. To see if they could shift focus. Celestra, I think the one thing that both of us can agree on and that we should be able to agree on is that neither of us have evidence for anything that we're saying right now. We're both effectively taking a stance based on what we want to be true or what we feel to be true. Neither of us are doing this with a great sense of scientific discovery, if you will, right? Right? We've seen through the lawsuit lanes by many. That's also sad. I just want to say, Blastial, that is also sad to me. And that is also something that people shouldn't do. Um, people should not now judge anything and everything that Blizzard does through the lanes of the lawsuit. Right? Because, But sadly, they will. Right? Sadly, they will.
Celestra, can you understand why the community is lashing out, though? Like, it's fine if that's how you want to feel, right? It, it's absolutely fine. But do you understand why the community is lashing out? The World of Warcraft player base have been disrespected by Blizzard's developers for years. I can show you the tweets, even now. I can show you the tweets of Blizzard developers scolding the player base whenever the player base says anything that they do not agree with, right? You have Blizzard developers basically believing that the player base is a fucking plague, right? Believing that content creators such as myself, such as Asmongold, is perpetuating negativity and is the reason for toxicity. This is a developer base that refuses to take responsibility for any of their actions whatsoever and believes that the player is meant to be the enemy of the developer. So, of course, the player base have become completely... Um, almost turned against this developer. And this wasn't started by the players. It was started by the developers. The developers did this. They are the only ones that can change it. They have to reach across the pond. They have to reach across the aisle. They have to say to the players, we apologize. Till now... Till now, there has not been a single fucking statement from Blizzard apologizing to the players. Literally, to this fucking moment, there has not been a single developer, not a single developer, that apologized to the players for the shit that they have done. Final Fantasy is struggling with a couple, like literally struggling with a, a few login queues. Something that in World of Warcraft used to be all too fucking often, right? Final Fantasy is struggling with a couple of login queues. And the lead developer for Final Fantasy puts out a massive post. Yoshi P himself puts out a post to explain to players exactly why these login queues are happening, exactly why it's taking so long to fix it, and apologizing to players for having to wait. I'm sorry, but... That's how you keep players on your side? By treating them as equals. By treating them as your friends, because they're supposed to be your friends. They're not supposed to be treated as the enemy, being left on the outside. And believe me, Celestra, I have friends that work at Blizzard Entertainment. I'm friends with some of the developers of Blizzard Entertainment. I don't want to fucking attack the developers of Blizzard Entertainment. But as I've said to my actual friends that work at Blizzard Entertainment, I'm sorry, but you guys are acting like assholes. You're acting like assholes. So what do you want, to, what, what do you want from us? Until you change your ways, there's nothing we can fucking do. Uh, Custos are a nice start, but the community is owed tons of apologies for insults and scolding the devs, uh, have doled out directly to them. Both us just keep treating each other like shit, nothing changes. Celestra, but are you arguing, so basically, what are you saying? Are you saying the players should change first? Uh, because it's someone needs to change first, right? Someone needs to change first. Now, I am of the opinion that the one who started it needs to change first. That's my opinion. If you hit me first, you can't ask me to stop hitting you just because you're no longer interested in being hit. You started it, so you have to stop first. The problem is, if the players stop hitting the devs, the devs will just continue continue to hit the players. The devs will not change. The devs need to realize that this is their fault. The toxicity in World of Warcraft is their fault. Person of Petamoral character stops first, personally. Um, this is... Sadly, you're currently dealing with collectives, right? You're not dealing with individuals. You're, you are dealing with collectives. 
So the same rules don't always necessarily apply. And also, okay, let's live in the world where you guys say the person with the better, better moral character stops first. Every single content creator immediately stops criticizing Blizzard for anything that they do. Okay? So we all stop immediately. We say nothing bad about Blizzard anymore. We say nothing bad about uh, about World of Warcraft anymore. What happens next? Wait. Genuine question. What happens next? We all stop uh, complaining about the game immediately. What's the next step? What incentive is there for the de developers to change their ways when the players immediately go, no worries, we'll stop. Celestra, it's the same thing. There's legitimately zero difference because it all comes from the same place. What you're looking at is the, uh, the, the words, right? So you're looking at the words that's being used. It comes from the same place. Whether it's criticism or whether it's go fuck yourselves, it all comes from the same place being fed up, right? Now, some people have the ability to express them being fed up in a way that isn't personalized attacks. Some people don't, right? Some people are so fed up that they just go, well, fuck you, right? But at the end of the day, it all comes from the exact same place. It comes from the feeling of helplessness. The, the inability to express yourself because the developers continuously stopped listening. And I want to say, I'm past the point of constructive criticism. That's why I don't cover anything bad about World of Warcraft on my channel anymore. Because it's clear they don't listen, so what's the fucking point? I'm going to waste my time making video after video telling Blizzard how to be better? No. No. There's no fucking point. It's clear that they have decided that they will not listen to the player base. The player base can go fuck themselves. So, yeah. The other problem, of course, is whenever I hear people say, yeah, we need constructive criticism, what they actually mean is do not criticize the game. Because whenever you do criticize the game, no matter how you criticize the game, you didn't do it constructively. Right? So no matter what the fuck you did. Like, you could give the criticism and a literally suggest the fix and they'll be like oh my god i'm so tired of this unconstructive criticism and it's like okay what am i supposed to do because basically what you're asking for is stop criticizing my game i just want to play my game that's fine bro you can play your game but i would like to play the game too like it'd be nice if i could play wow too and enjoy it just as much as you are the problem is one of us two isn't enjoying the game right now An officer of management contact me with the news of your enlistment. My congratulations, Private Laconium. I have no doubt that you are eager to make the acquaintance of your new comrades, but I would ask that you pay a visit to your old ones first. Okay, Manfili, I'm coming. I'm coming. Commander Riki, might be worth your while. Sure, why not? Topic, and that's chaotic evil. How fitting. I mean, now I accept quest, Monica Chocobo. Oh, yes. Oh, my God, yes. We're finally getting our mount. Fuck, yes. Now I have to go to Menphilia to get. Right. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going to Menphilia now. But Celestra, if six months ago, during an interview, right, they said that nothing is planned. Liliander, how you doing? 
that, that there is no customization planned whatsoever, right? And now suddenly there's new customization options. Are you telling me that there's no reason for players... Um, there's literally no reason for players to go, wait, this is, this is curious. Glad to catch you live. Happy to have you here, Liliana. What's the color coding on Quest? Is this... Yes, okay, so... All of the emblems that look like this, either sort of blackish, grayish, right? And these are all main, line, main store MSQ, right? Main store requests. It's not all of a sudden. Shit takes time to be devved. Not really. I mean, those, those hairstyles and stuff, yes, they take some time, but they don't take as much time as you might think. We're not talking about next level character customization here. We're talking about hairstyles and hair colors, actually. Hair colors being added. Those are not, like, you're not talking about years and years of development here. Welcome back. It seems you wasted no time putting your skills to work. How do I know why the recruitment officer uh, called to regale me with the tale of your heroics? The pride in his voice was palpable. I'm not trying to take anything. I'm not trying to take anything away from people that is very excited for the customizations, just to be clear. I think they're good for a lot of players. I even tweeted this. I think it's good. I think it's a good change. The timing does strike me as relevant, though. Because I, I, I know for a fact that there are plenty of people that care about customizations that's very excited for the customization options. I absolutely get that. And I'm very happy for all of the people that is getting stuff. But the community is such shit. Not, uh, no one can accept that a good thing happened. Players will never be happy, man. You can reverse course and do the right thing, and the community will still just be dicks. Celestra, but that's because... Okay, so... Okay, so... Here's the best example I have for you. Imagine you're married to a guy or a girl right that consistently abuses you consistently fucking smacks you and and hits you and throws you with stones and cups and fucking feces and whatever the fuck else right they're consistently abusing you and then one day they wake up and now they go a different way right they apologize well they don't even apologize in the case of blizzard but they just stop hitting you right and now they take you out for dinner right that that evening they suggest that you go out for dinner you would be a moron to immediately go, oh my god, they're so nice now. Ooh, I'm going out to dinner with the love of my life. There's a history of abuse there. It's not going to get fixed with a single act. Blizzard will have to show that they can continuously listen to their player base. They can continuously do the things that their player base is asking of them. They can stop seeing their player base as their enemy. That's the only way that this will change a single act is not going to be good enough for the majority of the player base because the vast majority of us have been burnt far too often um believing that blizzard can do better only to be let down once again with the launch of a new expansion we sounds are truly fortunate to have you with us Akalon. of course you are it's fucking me um, now, when last we spoke, I said that I wanted you to meet some friends, did I not? Well, I neglected to mention that you have already met them. Tataru, please show them in. Who? This way, sirs. Well, what do you know? Thanks again for getting us out of that mess. We owe you our lives. But I don't think we properly introduced ourselves. I'm Biggs. And I'm... I'm... Good man, spit it out, will you? Jesus. Wedge at your service. <laughs> I am pleased to say the Biggs and Wedge will be staying with, uh, with us for a while. Nice, the scions are growing. Magic-driven contraptions such as airships grow ever more vital to the city-state of Eorzea. As a neutral party, it was judged that we scions should serve as the keepers of this technology. Of course, for this we needed the knowledge of experts, and so we requested the assistance of Garland Ironworks, who very kindly sent two of their finest engineers.
I'm not, I, like I said, I, I'm not passing judgment on the new customization options because I want to see, um, I, I want to see what else is coming for 9.15. What is happening? This isn't even remotely close to abuse. B, I literally just said this isn't carte blanche. There is much more to do, but for the community to simply just be dicks about a good thing sends the wrong message. This is good. How is this not... So how is this not abuse? For years now, we've gone through alpha and beta only to be ignored. Literally, all of our advice, all of our feedback, everything is ignored. The game launches as Blizzard intended. We complain throughout the point one patch. Patch. We complain throughout the point two patch. We complain throughout the point two five patch. Then finally, in point three, they implement everything that we said from fucking point zero is implemented, and the game is finally great. A year and a half that I paid to play a fucking beta, so that I can play six months of a good game, and then it all starts again. Then again, I complain during the alpha. I complained during the beta. I complained during point one, point two, point two five, point three. They finally do what we said from the beginning they should do. And now six months, you have a good game, but you've just wasted another year and a half of sub pricing just to get six months of good game. Th that's as close, that is literally as close to fucking abuse as you can get without being slapped. It shows a complete and utter disrespect for the player base. Myself blessed to have been given this chance to stand with you. Or with you all and fight for the future of the realm. Never have I known such fulfillment, such happiness. Fuck, she is bae, bro. Oh my god. Right, give me, give me, give me that sweet, sweet shit. We need to investigate the sulfs. Here we go. Now, having set aside the formalities. Andy, you can go fuck yourself. Manfilia is not, not in, in no way is Manfilia the worst character in World of, uh, in Final Fantasy. Not, in no way. She is waifu, 100% waifu. We have a favor to ask of you. Uriange, have the documents arrived from the students of Baldessian? Aye, my lady. They arrived but recently. I am tired. Those, those, the medication is doing its fucking work, bro. I am very tired. We have conducted a study at the behest of the Order of the Twin Adder. Mm-hmm. Papalimo, Ida, a synopsis, if you would. Ida could be Bay as well, by the way. Our task was to survey the behavior of the Sylphs, a beast tribe indigenous to the Twelveswood. Oh, how to describe them. They look like gizzle greens, floating ones that worship the primal Ramu. Ahem. <clears throat> Though technically a beast tribe, Sylphs are blessed with a comparatively personable <laughs> demeanor, conducive to peaceful communication. You guys can go fuck yourselves. Yeah, Tifa, Tifa is fucking waifu as well. And I'm still not a weeb. I still don't watch anime. I still don't fucking know anything about weeb culture. But I must say that Tifa is fucking bae, bro. Offering us an invaluable opportunity to learn what the beast tribes know of the primals. While Ramu's existence is well documented, the Sylphs do not, or perhaps cannot, summon the primal any longer, insofar as can be ascertained, until such time as we know. Okay, so they quite it would can't be they? unwise to assume that the threat posed by the primal has passed. How is that? How does that make me a weeb? Which leaves Gridania with the added worry of not knowing what they should be worrying about. Uh huh. 
In that regard, they are hardly alone. What we can say with absolute certainty is that Gridania has its hands full fending off Garuda. That is bullshit, Apocalypse. That is 100% bullshit. You can waifu a game character without turning into a fucking weeb. Who, I need hardly remind you, is among the most savage and terrible of all known primals. In short, it is essential that we approach the Sylphs in as diplomatic a manner as possible. Oh my fuck. Are you serious, Ferorius? I don't think it worked. Did it work? Oh, for the love of fuck. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> I fucking hate you. Um... <laughs> I think he wife with Sylvanas first, which isn't weep. Not sure what it is, though. Um, Words and actions can be either. misconstrued. The only sure way to communicate our intentions is the echo. Uh-huh. Winning the Sylph's favor may well bring us a step closer to oh, mitigating fucking hate the threat my chat. of the Why promise. is everyone in chat always will against me? Us? What did I do to all of you? Wait, when did this war even start? I don't know. You're an anarchist? Yeah, but being an anarchist shouldn't mean automatic war. Start with pizza. I think it started before I'm that. Grateful. We're with you. You can embrace your inner weeb. We'll still support you. But I'm not a fucking weeb, bro. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Lovely. Well, as much as I'd like to help... I'm afraid I would be of little use to anyone in Gridania. A veritable babe in the woods. Ida and Papalimo, however, should be able to see the forest for the trees. Is that not so, Minfilia? Indeed. You are willing? Yeah, I'm, I'm willing. Leave it to me. Us, Ida, us! I tried once. Oh, Celestra, please never take me disagreeing with you as as any sort of show of, of me getting, like, annoyed with you or anything like that. I've said this before and I'll say it again. I have more fun talking to people that I disagree with. Um, because that's how you learn. Right? You can have disagreements. You can discuss with people that you disagree with. Look, if, if I had a rule of not talking to people that I disagree with, I be fucked there would be almost no one that i could talk to do you know how few people are anarchists do you know how few people would agree when i say destroy all governments like <laughs> i said this like i said this before the government is the end of the enemy of the people and i genuinely had people losing their shit over it so I don't mind talking to people that I that I disagree with, as long as they can do it in a way that it doesn't turn into a screaming contest, right? Um, like with you and me, you gave your opinion, I gave mine. We can walk away from it going, "Love you, bro, no problem," right? We had a disagreement, and we're both good because it came, I think, hopefully, from a place of respect. Uh, Tylen, how you doing, brother? Shaving the beard, no matter what he said. I I will never shave the beard. Who said I'm going to shave the beard? When the fuck did I... What? I don't think I've ever said that I will shave the beard. And if I did, then I, I was lying. Wait, I need to go buy my chocobo... Huh? Why can't I... What? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Please tell I should be able to buy the fucking thing. Oh, I remember why it's red. Never mind. I know exactly why it's red. I got this now. True, Ernie. Fucked out of Final Fantasy. Good man. Good man. <laughs> As have I. As have I. Wait, am I supposed to go this way? Yeah, I am. Uh, red means usually 
raid means either that you're too low level. So most of the time, generally when you encounter a raid mark like that, it means that your level isn't fine. Or you're missing something required. Why the fuck is it showing up here? Oh, because I first have to get to... Now I can't remember where this place is. Um, I think it's upstairs. I genuinely cannot fucking remember where you buy. Where's the company again here? In this case, it means I, I haven't bought the license yet. I need to buy a Chocobo uh, in issuance. Teleport to the after castle. It's, this is the Marauders Guild. Is it beyond the after castle? Oh, it's right here. Never mind. Okay, I know exactly where I'm going. Never mind. I have it. It's this place. Now I get my mount. This is this is amazing days. ride a horse well this isn't a horse this is a bird but i i catch a meaning right it's under material i need this thank you now we can go buy fuck now i can't remember where hold up i'll check chocobo issuance is there not really uh, let's go back there fuck it Yeah, I, 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 I'm not doing that. <laughs> Think you'll be as nostalgic for your first mount here as you were for your Drake Steed. Um, not necessarily. So your first mount here isn't the biggest thing. It's just part of the main storyline. You unlock your first mount and it's pretty easy to get. You just saw there. Doesn't even cost gold. But there are some really fucking good mounts that I think you are going to be very nostalgic for after you've worked for them. Because there are mounts that require 4,000 hours of stuff. Or 2,000 hours of stuff. Like, there there really is some crazy fucking mounts in this game. Yes, everything appears to be in order. A moment, please. I'll be right back with your chocobo. Thank you. Look at that. My chocobo has arrived. And here he is. This fellow has been in high spirits the past few bowels. He must have sensed his master, his master is coming. Now then, to make it official, you'll want to give your noble steed a name. So what are we naming him? Talon, I have loved this game so far. Drumstick. <laughs> Congrats on that. Anthony Ox, thank you very much. Taking five minutes or more every time I have to name these things. My first mount was called Invincible. I might just go for that again. And I enjoyed it, but it was way better than I thought it would be. Agree. What did you tell me was good that I had to stumble on? You need to take the mantle of playing absolute bangers from Grimaya soon. McChicken. That's bad naming, bros. Dreadsteed. I like that. Fuck yeah, I'm gonna call him Dreadsteed. Get have to get some wow in here. We have to get some wow in into this. I want people to know. Oh my god, this is a wow player. We first hold, uh, yeah, so I can ride you, Loon. Ride it like a warlock. I'm planning to do that. Do you guys think your Loon is going to be hot? 
Like, what, what are the thoughts? Are we, do we think Iluna's gonna be hot when we first see her? Or is she gonna be like every other fucking titan? Not that great. Plans? We must call upon the science once more if we are to... Ah, I beg pardon. This is a habit of mine to think out loud. Uh, to think aloud, but tell me, what brings you to the adder's nest? A, a consular form? Hotter than Savannah, 100%. Not true. Mention from the win, I was close to going immortal flames, because Nanamo is fucking adorable, and Raban is a fucking chad, but I have Limsa, Limsa Luminsa and Maelstrom Colors. I just went for that because of freedom. <laughs> Hail, adventure, I bet you welcome to the Adder's Nest. Do you seek to entwine your destiny with the Twin Adder? No. Good evening, Commander. Sorry to disappoint you, but other business brings us here today. Yida and Papalimo, always a pleasure to see the two of you. My main tell me you quest in the name of the science of late. Quite so, Commander. A little bird told us that the Twin Adder was in need of our adventuring prowess. Aye, your little bird sings true. No doubt you've heard that that we're investigating the sylphs, that curious beast tribe that calls the depths of the Twelveswood home. The sylphs are, for the most part, a peaceable bunch, much to the delight of the Elder Seeds here, who has no desire to see her people embroiled in yet another fruitless war. The Twin Adder is of the same mind, and it's precisely, precisely for this reason that the Sylph's relation to the Primal Ramu has raised a flag of warning amongst our ranks. Friendly as they may appear, Beastmen will be Beastmen. Should there be even a sliver of a chance that the summoning of the Primal might disturb the balance between Gradania and the Sulphic tribe, it is a possibility we cannot ignore. Better to be safe than sorry indeed. Do we strike at Ramu or leave the selves to their own ways? That is the question. Yet I find myself lacking ample knowledge to arrive at an answer. Opinions abound within Gridania, but to listen only to one's own is among the greatest mistakes a commander can make. I would hear from the other side, the selves themselves, and seek an impartial party to serve as my liaison. This is where you science come in. Eddie Noon is a full diaper like these Nanafals. I... I'll just disintegrate. I don't think Iluna's a fucking Lalafal. Wait, what is this? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, the memes have started. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm retweeting this. <laughs> oh my god yes uh yep uh that's what i expect from the internet that said i urge you to exercise due caution Sophic tradition and etiquette bear literal resemblance to our own it would not do to have any cross-cultural vo vo pas get in the way of a productive parlay en route to little solace you will come upon the hawthorn hut our officer stationed there can enlighten you as to how to win the soul's favor may your expedition be a worthwhile one all right yeah this is just a friendly little visit queen murloc i don't know if i would like that though like, w how, how would you guys feel? We want to go to the Lancer's Guild. So where's the closest teleport from where we are now? Oof, they're all far. Okay, we may go through here. The chat just have a fucking aneurysm. Like, everyone kept chatting and then suddenly the chat just went dead like no bro we're not talking to you anymore go fuck yourself uh 
um, Lancer Scale. Bobby does that to people. Yeah, it's the mention of Bobby Kotick. Like, just see how the mood dropped as soon as someone mentioned his fucking name. Should it be an elf? Maybe. You're watching someone else, you fucking traitor. And this is top tier gameplay. Of course it is. I'm playing. What else would it be? Oh boy, more fake leaks just came out. Um, hold up. I see this. Counter attack. World of Warcraft dusts of rebirth. Activision insight. Wow, people are really fucking jumping. People are jumping on this one, boys. Uh, Blizzard becoming insight anonymous. Activision insight. Yeah, I I highly doubt that Activision Insights is a thing. Um, Activision Blizzard, sad. And what's the point? They just the quick question: What is the point? Why change the fucking name? As, why is that even? Like, are people just gonna forget? Are people literally just going to go, well, it's called Activision Insight now, must be a different company. <laughs> if, you, if anything, right, if you really wanted to fix the name, you would call it Blizzard Insight. Because I think even with the lawsuit, Blizzard still has a better name than Activision in the gaming industry. So I would rather call it Blizzard Insight than Activision Insight. Um, so yeah, I, I genuinely think this is just bullshit. Bullshit. But Overwatch Counter-Attack and World of Warcraft Dusts of Rebirth. Dusts of Rebirth? Sure. Fucking sure. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. Uh, I'm gonna go with this one. Uh, Tempo no leak. Expansion name, the Emerald Knight. New systems, guild order halls, player housing, wheel of fake. 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 Player housing? Get fucked. Blizzard? Player housing? Lul. Uh, even if WoW had one player left, Blizzard would not do player housing. If WoW had one fucking player left and that one player was asking for player housing, Blizzard would not fucking do it. Like, 100% they wouldn't. Um, okay, so we have player housing. Guild order halls could be a really cool thing. They're, again, not going to do it because it's the same as player housing. Wheel of Seasons, no idea what the fuck that is, right? And Dream Portals. Again, what the fuck is that even? Because player housing would be... It would. Player housing would fix so much of World of Warcraft. They're not going to do it. New profession, spell weaving. You mean like tailoring? Or enchanting? They can. They can already not do the current professions well and you're telling me that they're gonna add another profession that they can't do well like what it's it's un it's surreal to me it's it's fucking surreal to me new class specialization warrior archery ranged damage dealer So what's the difference between this warrior, archer, and, uh, and, and, and a normal hunter? Does this warrior throw the fucking arrows? Like, is that what this is? Because it's a warrior, but it's called warrior archery, right? So does they, do they just throw the arrows? They, they don't even, fuck a bow, bro. I'll just throw these things to death. I'm strong. Look at me. Um, I... I why would you need why, why would warriors need a fucking archery spec <laughs> let's let's take uh, let's take the one class that doesn't need a range spec and give it a fucking range spec sure this is the lowest effort spoiler i've ever seen in my life this is the lowest effort spoiler i've ever seen in my life uh priest moon range damage dealer uh, okay 
uh, Warlock Souls Healer. No. <laughs> just no. Warlocks will never be souls. It just will never happen, right? Uh, new Continent, Emerald Dream. New Capital, Ulduran. Wow, that, that's some, that took some thinking. Um, and then you have Fields of Anshe. Instances, Sunrise Temple. Zulrakan, Court of the Loa, Trollheim. Uh, instances, instances, Lair of Logosh, Nightmare's Grove. Uh, Elun, Elun Alar, Instances, Castle Gorfring, Gorfiend. Uh, Naxraller, Throne of Terror. Okay, Jesus. Foulbreach, the Netherheart. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure all of this is bullshit. I can't be sure, right? Let's just be clear. I cannot be sure of this. But I would say maybe I'm about, let's say, 99.9999999999% certain that this is complete and utter bullshit. And for no other reason than the fact that they've, they're going to add a warrior archer to the game. If Blizzard ever adds a, a warrior archer to the game, we would know 100% that um, Blizzard have run out of fucking chance. Uh, they, they've, they've run out of, of, of any imagination. That's how you know Blizzard have reached the end of their sort of, um, you know, curiosity streams. It's now just downhill. They're basically now just making shit up. Next step is going to be warriors that fight with their staves, like melee, wa uh, melee uh, warlocks that fight with their staves, melee warlocks and shit. I'm sorry, but no. Just fucking no. If anyone believes this, you're a moron. It's fun to think about, but definitely not going to happen. And this is complete bullshit. Dusts of rebirth. Sure. Uh, sure. You look like I, I can see that. Weights. That's terrible. Have a dumpling. I think Moon Priest is BS, but I want a Retribution Priest, which is a DPS spec that uses light, just like Holy Priest, but is DPS. I don't think they'll ever do that. I, I think it would be a cool concept to explore, but I don't think that they'd ever do that. What the hell? And I just found out you were streaming again. Digit, how you doing, brother? Make Survival Hunter a tank? Bro, I would love to see better Survival Hunter, to be quite frank. Where's my mount thing again? Oh, I didn't learn my mount yet. Fuck. Mount guide. feels so good having a mount now look at us go we're flying boys well we're not really flying but we could we could say that we're flying we're moving a lot fucking quicker now i can feel the speed i can feel it running through my veins 100 percent plus i like the chocobo music are you a big Final Fantasy fan, or is this one of the first? It is literally the first Final Fantasy I've ever played, Squad. Uh, I, I've never played a single Final Fantasy before this. I, I won't even call myself a, a slight fan of Final Fantasy. It never appealed to me. Totally not butchering them and eating them. You can actually breed chocobos, from what I understand. The, the chocobo racing allows you to breed chocobo, I think. Indeed, I am Amelian, the twin adder. I understand you're here to learn of the sylphs, yes? For all their whimsy, they are a wary lot, particularly since the Empire has come to the Shroud. Under trust, however, and they're, a friendly, uh, they're friendly as any folk. They have their quirks, but so do we all, no? Would you know more? You'd do well to speak with the master of this heart. I'll do exactly that. And ding! We have two more levels to go before we become a black mage. Patriarch, uh, come to learn a thing or two about the Sylphs, have you? I'll tell you one thing. They're a peculiar folk. How peculiar, you ask? Well, just let me tell you. They're, they're, 
er... Beg pardon, friend. My memory's just not what it used to be. I've seen much and more in my travelling, in my venturing days, and it's all a clutter in my noggin now. Though I've shared my stories with those around the hut before, you might have more luck with them. Alright, so I'm asking everyone else now. The Sylphs, yes. Father told me his stories plenty of times. What I've always found most captivating is how their concept of etiquette is almost completely alien to our own. You'd do best not to underestimate them on account of their childlike looks, lest you face end up a mess of glyphs, squibbles, squi squiggles, and chocobo scratches. Wait, that, that doesn't teach me shit. Okay. Um, let's talk to this dude. Blyset. What's up? The quickest way for, to a quiver woman's heart might be through her stomach, but don't even think of trying to foist your foodstuffs on a sylph. They sustain themselves simply by bathing in the sun, or so Rolf once told me. So we can't give them food. Right, that helps. Moan. The sylphs? Uh, Evetorate tricksters and troublemakers, that's what they are. One day they're drawing mobile faces on our masks, and the next they're sending either our young sentries falling to the bottom of a ravine. Tell them to stop, and they just laugh at you. Rolf claimed to, they harbor no ill will, but I dare say such pranks are no laughing matter. I mean, it's just pranks, right? Would be cool if they did something where chocobo breeding affected your companion as well. So wait, you, you don't breed your own chocobo. You just breed the one that you're racing with. Oh, of course, of course. Hearing your stories, well, my stories has brought the memories flooding back to me. I feel, I feel like dancing. Yes, nothing brings people together quite like a little toe tapping. A sylph uh, told me long ago that dancing is a time-honored greeting among their kind. You'd do well to remember this. It just may help win the favor of our forest friends. That sort of sucks. I feel like that's a little bit of a missed opportunity. Celestra, I got to level 54 before I restarted. We're still here? Uh, great. There's one more thing you should know about the Sylphs. They don't take kindly to guests who show up empty-handed. To earn their trust, you do well to bring along a... a drat, what was it again? <sighs> My wife Rosa and I were just speaking of a mat of the matter not days ago. Forgive me, friend. Speak to Rosa at the comb. Her memory should prove more reliable than my own. Where the fuck's the comb? Alright, I'm running all the way back. An old fucking day, waddling around as a Thornberry breeding chocobos for racing, companions, mounts, etc. Well, you can still breed them and race them. I just want to become my black mage now. Which class is the fastest class in the game? Look at what you have become. I go down bad in 2021. Back in the day, this was his opinion. What happened? Um, wait a second. Oh, Sonic the Hedgehog was grey as well. Oh my god, Sonic the Hedgehog was good. Fuck me, look at that. My hair was quite long back then. <laughs> Luna, um, tell Will kindly, of course, because he's a very treasured subscriber of the channel. Tell him that he and Ferorius can go fuck themselves with their suggestions of Final Fantasy VII. That is not happening. We are not playing a fucking weeb game on this channel. <laughs> True. True, things have changed. <laughs> things have changed. You are correct. I love with Red Alert. Oh my god, Red Alert was so good. Red Alert was... <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. You're you're correct. Things have changed quite a bit. And I'm not even sorry. I'm not even sorry. I'm glad I gave Final Fantasy a go. A peace offering for the Sylphs. Were it anyone else, I'd recommend a jar of honey. But I fear that wouldn't get you past their front doorstep, dear. No. 
Their tastes run more to the unusual. Are you perchance familiar with milk root? That's what we call the root of that most fiendish seed kin, the ochu. When chewed, it exudes a cloudy liquid that's said to induce curious visions of the uh, in the imbider. You'd not catch me day trying this stuff, but the souls seem to enjoy it to no end. Right, off to go find that thing. Bro, Tifa it, it, is such a fucking bay. I, I can 100% see myself enjoying that game just because of Tifa. Here we go. You know what cloud would do to you? Cloud what? Who the fuck is cloud? Oliver Arco? I know I was about 54 before I beat ARR. Yes, I did complete all of ARR. And then I decided to start over. So that stream could join in and actually know what the story is all about. I ah, are back. My wife was able to direct you to a suitable offering. Milk root. But of course, those sylphs quaff that cloudy stuff as quick as, as I do a flagon of mead. The effect's just about the same as well. Any road, a gift of milk root will have the sylphs calling you friend and brother the moment they lay eyes on it. Now let me wrap that up for you. I'm starting to feel a bit woozy. Woozy. Right. I've taken the liberty of wrapping your milk root, milk root well and good. They should keep it nice and fresh, not to mention spare you from that god awful stench. This guy doesn't look that old. The souls love the stuff, but me? I'd rather bury my nose in chocobo dung. I dare say the reek even rivals the breath of a more bold uh, that put an end to my adventuring days. But I can tell you that story another time. You're more than, you, you've more important matters to attend to today. Yes, the Zulfs are an eccentric bunch, but I've shared their company enough to know they're kind at heart. They'll not shun one whose intentions are true. May your parlay be a fruitful one, friend, and do not stop by, do stop by your return. There's a flagon of full flower mead with your name on it if you'll regale me your adventuring tales. Hey, we're going to get drunk. version they had to come up with a bullshit reason for only having one pauldron as they couldn't render the second shoulder armor well is that a bad thing speak to em emmeline almost fucking ran off okay bro just i know the war is gonna be bad i need to be careful just giving you guys a summary of what he said there be careful don't start the fucking war don't pass off the sylphs. Basically, what he said. Keep doing more of these late night streams because I can actually make them. I just really want to watch you get to Heaven's Ward. I want your reaction live. Celestra, uh, I will. The only time I can't do it is when I'm way too fucking tired off the gym. But I felt like playing Final Fantasy tonight, so here we are. Walking one is not familiar with this one. This one does not trust strange walking ones. Strange dancing ones might be a different story, but this one expects no such thing. Walking one should go home and leave this one be. Right, here you go. Dancing. This one would welcome walking one who moves like these ones. If walking one would talk to this one, this one will answer. This one is a busy one, so walking one should speak with quick tongue. Walking one would bring gifts to this one. Walking one is most kind. 
Walking one brings Mulgrud. Mulgrud folds this one with great joy. This one gives thanks. Gives many, many thanks. You going to catch these late streams as well? Well, I'm, I'll be happy to do them as often as humanly possible. Walking one carries messages for Elder One. This one will deliver the message to Elder One. Walking one should not worry. Hello there. We're envoys from Gardania and we're here to treat with your people. Aye, we come to pay our respects to your elder and to learn from him more of your Lord Ramu. Who are these ones? These ones come from Gridania? Walking one become a dancing one and brought milk root, but walking one tricks this one. This one does not like tricks. This one will speak no more. Elder one is busy. Walking one should go home. Go home, you say? But the souls of little Solas have always welcomed Gridanian envoys with open wings. The letter carried by Akalon here is an oath of peace penned by the Elder Seedseer herself. Stole you would refuse us? This one's reasons are no business of Walking One's. Elder One has no words for Gridania. Walking One wastes everyone's time. Well, I never. Turned away at the gates. Whatever did we do to deserve such a rude welcome? Was Akalon's jig insufficiently jiggy? I am as baffled as you, but something tells me recent events have our earth erstwhile fluttery friends feeling uncommonly wary. It would seem we've no choice but to ask around and see how we might earn their trust. You've no idea of the generosity I could, uh, sing to? Cough wheeze? Wait, how? It's generally why the only... Why he only has one shoulder pad? Who? Oh, the cloud guy. I mean... One shoulder pad isn't bad. Alright, now we're just gonna have to run around and do some things dancing. Yeah. Okay. Dance for all the souls to find out what the f fuck we did wrong. In that diggity jig. This one is overjoyed, but this one keeps the ways of weaving a secret. Even if walking one learned the secret, walking one could not weave in the same way. I'm not trying to weave, I'm just trying to figure out what the hell went wrong. Believe me, I couldn't give two fucks about your weaving. Bag up what? Giant rat guy. All right, here we go. Maybe this does the trick. Akalon, would you like to hear the good news or the better news? The good news is that your lovely dancing has brought smiles and high spirits to all of Little Solace. The better news? Well, I have thoroughly recovered from those accursed leg cramps. Onward to our next adventure. Uh, of course. Papalimo. What do you have for me? Akalon's adventure, you're no stranger to helping distressed folk, I'd wager. Tales of the good deeds are quick to spread, and the adventurers who come uh, who comes to the aid of the local populace can go from stranger to hero overnight. No doubt you see what I'm getting at. The souls who make their home in Little Solace do so, do so having been driven from their woodland home. Surely they have a fair share of troubles. I think so too. So let's go here. How can we help these fuckers? Before we're planning any of the old Final Fantasies, 14 gives not to them. I want to play them, but... I, I want to play seven really evil toot and it's not on PC so can't play it praise praise be to the elementals I cannot express how happy I am to see an adventurer with a truly gentle heart the souls of little solace are solely in need of aid pray hear me out being a temporary settlement little solids okay it's just giving us a quest let's go kill things It's not the remake, as far as I know. Yeah, but I want to play the remake. I don't think the, the normal one is as good. Is the normal one as good as the remake? Oh, wait. Why am I killing two of these? Or is the original as good as the, the remake, I should ask? I prefer the normal one. 
like the remake, but it's different combat entirely. I don't, I don't know. Like, isn't Final Fantasy that turn-based combat thing? Like, is the remake turn-based as well, or is the remake not turn-based? Story is good. Gameplay is hard to play through. It's old as fuck. The remake is action combat, but the... Oh, that's a big-ass fucking thing. Let's kill the large gnat. Nah. I think that's everything. Yes. Right, we can head back. 15 and the 7 remake are more action-like, but does have turn-based elements. I don't think I've ever played 15. Like, I, I've never even seen anything about 15. How new is 15? Dancing one still here? Yes, I've brought you some ha mushrooms and shit. As one brings brownie brushes, brushes for this one, this is going to die thread once more. This one is pleased. Right. Now, give us another quest. Little solace. This one uh, asks dancing one for forgiveness. These ones have many troubles. All right, we're getting another quest. So, what's the newest Final Fantasy? 15. Where the hell am I going? Presence of the enemy. Why do I feel like I'm running way too far away from this thing? No, I'm not. But so the but I don't see the remake as new because it's a remake, right? Final Fantasy. 16 but it's not out yet you don't want to do side quests plan to go back to them or just leave them i'll go back to them i'll, I'll go back and some of the blue quests i'll just do off stream because yeah I, I, I don't want to do like because some of the blue quests are really boring so I'll probably do most of the blue quests and stuff off stream. No one I want to play, but it's like on a Saturday where I can't really stream. Even though I should be able to stream now on Saturdays. Since we're moving the show show to Mondays. Why the fuck can I... Oh, never mind. Clicked on the wrong thing. I can't remember how long this quest chain is to unlock the... next uh, primal. That had me super confused. I was like, what the fuck? Why is the show show on Monday? We sort of had to move it to Monday, but I'm not sure how I feel about that yet. Like, I don't know. How do most of you feel about the show show? Mondays or Sundays? When do you prefer it? This one sees. Steal walking ones. Come from Empire. Carry boxes and go walking deep, deep through trees. Is the sprout icon with your name to let everyone know you're new to the game? Yes, Doc Savage. It lets people know that this is a new character. I don't know when the sprout disappears, though. I don't know how many... Like, does it only disappear once you get one character to max level? Does it restart every single time you start a new character? These things I do not know.
And since it means uh, we don't have to do podcast and show show on the same day. True. Mm, let's fucking do this. Come on. Come on, you bastards. Take thunder. Take the thunder. Yes. Now, all of you. Onwards and upwards. Did that? That did not explain the way that I thought it would. Wait. Huh? After each tick, that the next thunder spell of any grade will add its full damage over time amount to its initial damage, have no cost and cost no MP. Oh shit! That's new. Right. So that's sort of an instant cost that I now have to start worrying about. It's not fucking bad. We want to remove the sprout icon anytime. Nastatus. I mean, I don't really care about the sprout icon being there. I don't know, but it seems that people are happier on a Monday to get a stream. Start the week off with something good instead of going to bed Sunday, pissed off and knowing you got work in the morning. True, plus the, the other reason I thought about Monday shul shows rather than Sunday shul shows is because most people spend Sundays with their families, right? Going out, going to dinner, doing whatever. Mondays is more of a work day where you're not doing any of those things really. Right, so is pining for a wayward fr pining for a wayward wayward friend. Good, have a break in between podcasts too, right? We do have a break at the moment, but it would have to be such a long break. Six thanks for saying, dude. Really appreciate that. I think Shil Show being on Monday is amazing. Sunday night is a very sad and depressing time because tomorrow would be Monday. If the shill show is on Monday, at least Monday is not that bad anymore, and there is something to look forward to. True. True. Um, I prefer the fact that we don't do Lovecraft and shill show on the same day. Saturday streaming. One of these ones named Claxio ventured outside Little Solace alone. Alone is unsafe. Helpful one must find Claxio. Claxio struck west after leaving the settlement. Hurry before Claxio ends up in the belly of a beastly one. Right, I'll go save her. I didn't ignore the cheer, Florius. I said thank you. And then I said I agree. There's not much, add, much else I can add there, right? I think Sundays is just not the best day for the show show. Not to mention the fact that it would kind of be nice to not work full time on Saturdays and Sundays rather than having this weird sort of day in between my weekend. What? Walking one wants uh, this one to return to Little Solace? Don't make this one laugh. This one is wary of living with those who are not of these ones. This one wants to be alone. Uh, these ones rely on walking ones. Oh, for fuck's sake, Claxio, you're gonna die. Doing in the middle, dude? What do you mean, what am I doing in the middle? Alright, Claxio, he doesn't want to come back. Claxio says, fuck all of you. What? Claxio refused to return to these ones and went deeper into the forest? But! This one saw touched ones lurking in the forest. Helpful one must hurry. Hurry and find Claxio. Helpful one should search for spools of thread on the forest floor. Those things will lead helpful one to Claxio. But hurry, hurry before touched ones take Claxio away. Did you echo? We got your ass covered. Nice. <laughs> But no, it is sort of a long. Sundays are usually very long because we do an hour of Lovecraft 
Then we have like actually just a 40, 40 minute break. And then we do five hours of shill show. By the end of that, y your voice is fucked. Your ass is fucked. You're tired. Everything's just a mess. So it would be nice to not have that happen. OG and Echo, tower bridging, uh, and OG is the bridge. That's disgusting, Ferorius. That is disgusting. Let's do this. That, Saving Raven, get your head out of the gutter, please. Meddling One is back. This one told Meddling One to be gone. Talcos Moxio, this one will never go back. Never. Oh my god, it's leave people. Touched ones. Touched ones should go away too. This one is good one. Everyone should just leave this one alone. Be on guard, Akron. These selves have been tempered. Brought under the thrall of the primal Ramu. Akin to the Amalja tempered by Ilfred, these selves exist only to serve their deity. They'll not answer to words, only steal. Take no pleasure in this, but it must be done. Let's do this. I got this. I got this, folks. Wait, did I do... Why did I do two of those attacks? I don't remember wanting to do two of those attacks. Um... Wait, no. I'm doing the wrong thing here. Yeah, that's not rocking. You like me here? Damn, I made this particular gutter. Fight me, I'll win, because I cheat. Cheating while you while while you fight is not a fucking bad thing. What the? F Jesus, this thing has a lot of health. All right, I got this. I got this, fam. Apparently, there's one self that no one is fucking paying attention to. Oh, never mind. I think he's leaving. We won. Can't beat him. He has the power of anima on his side. No such thing here. This one is safe. This one was so scared. Claxio. This one has been worried, so very worried. Is Claxio unharmed? Still in possession of wits? Camaxio, and meddling one as well. Why are these two here? These two came to rescue Claxio. That Claxio is safe fills this one with joy. Camaxio, forgive this one. This one did not mean to run away from Little Solace. This one was just afraid. These ones who live at Little Solace were changing, becoming friendly with other ones. This one feared that these ones were forgetting who these ones are, like Touch ones did. But this one was wrong. This one can see that now. The way they speak is very fucking weird, bro. Meddling are a helpful one. This one is grateful. This one will return to Little Solace to be with Camaxio and the friendly ones. Why is it fun? Like... I mean, the game is fun, but why exactly is it fun to see me become, like, a Final Fantasy lover? I don't know why it's so weird, because I think Final Fantasy... I don't know how anyone cannot be fall in love with this game. No. 
Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. The Skaven and Warhammer. I'm not playing Warhammer. So how would I meet the Skaven? Fuck. You guys do realize we've done like almost nine hours of stream today. I will say though, more people enjoy the just chatting streams than people who enjoy the Final Fantasy streams, Evil Toot. So it must mean that I enjoy myself more when I do just the just chatting streams. Because yeah, we usually have like, and you've all seen it, right? We usually have like 150, almost 200 people in just chatting. Thought Glacio was lost forever. Helpful one saved Glacio. Uh, now these ones can be family again. This one has known many walking ones, even many kind walking ones, but Helpful One is kindest and strongest of all. Helpful One is a hero to these ones. Helpful One will bring these ones and walking ones closer together. This one knows. This one would take Helpful One to see Elder One. But Elder One is... Elder One is... Elder One is what? This one must ask Kind One's forgiveness. This one made promise to take Kind One to see Elder One, yes, but this one cannot. This one cannot because Elder One is not here. Elder One is not anywhere. Elder One went into forest yesterday, but has yet to come back. This one is worried. Elder One often goes into forest, but never, never for this long. Kind One will help find Elder One, yes. Near where Elder One disappeared is the home of the walking one named Baskaran. Baskaran may know what happened to Elder One. This one would talk to Baskaran, but walking ones do not always trust these ones. Would kind one talk to Baskaran for this one? And kind one comes from Gridania, yes? In, Grid in Gridania live many kind ones, yes? This one begs a kind one. Please go to Gridania and ask fellow kind ones for help. And please hurry. These ones are not safe until Elder One returns. What pizza will most people think is disgusting, Zig Zigs? What do you mean you didn't like the creatures, Digit? Did you really not enjoy the Sylphs? I find the Sylphs cute as shit. Well, if it is in our inter... Intrepid Ambassador. How fair your diplomatic efforts with the Sylph tribe. Their elders gone missing, you say. Why, if... If he were to end up in the hands of the Tempered Ones, we'd have a crisis on our hands. You can assure the Sylphs that my sharpest-eyed serpents will be on the lookout night and day. Not sto No stone must be left unturned. I would ask you to call upon Gaia Molka at Bait Branch Meadows and deliver the message to th that the Wood Wailers are needed in the search effort. Right... people learn and grow and change their minds that's disgusting just had to ask Akalon. well i wanted to know i wanted to know i thought maybe it's like with pineapple on it which wouldn't be a bad thing yeah you guys need to help search for those sulf bastards now we're going to baskaran oh of course, I'm not attuned to either of these. Uh, trying to start a pizza war, Akko? Uh, it's not pizza. There's no sauce on it. So it's not pizza. If it had sauce on it, it would be a pizza. But obviously, it doesn't have sauce on it. Therefore, no pizza. It's just bread with some meat on it. It's like an open sandwich. Like, the world's most boring open sandwich. Um, I disagree with that. God, you're always so wrong, Akko. How is that wrong? 
Pizza, we've, we've spoken about this before. When you walk into a pizza parlor, you ask for a pepperoni pizza. Why do you not ask for, can I get dough with some tomato sauce on it, cheese and pepperoni? You don't ask for that because the pizza implies it. When you say, can I get pizza? They don't go, uh, would you like that with tomato sauce, uh, dough base and also some cheese? No, fuck. When I say pizza, what I mean is I want the dough, the tomato sauce and the cheese, please. That's the pizza. Zasharon, not true. I refuse to believe that. I don't care what evidence you bring. It's all made up. It's all fake. Well met, adventurer. We have the finest grog and grub this side of... Uh, not yet to fill your belly, then. Ah, a hunger, hunger for news, is it? Aye, there's been talk of a sylph lurking hereabouts, but I couldn't rightly say if it'd been the elder you seek. Those woodland scamps all look alike. Short of painting one red, another one blue, most folk would struggle to tell the two, two of them apart. If you've time, mayhap, you could stay a while and see what the gods have in store. You never know. You might even stumble across the sylph elder yourself. Like it's entirely possible, right? And ding. One more level and we get to be a black mage. FYI. And I think this is where we'll leave it for tonight. I have to get ready for bed. It's already fucking 20 minutes past three in the AM here. And I I I really want to go fucking sleep. Tired of shit, dude. Um did you guys enjoy the late night stream? Would you say it was worth it? Nate P, how you doing, bro? Thank you for the first time chat. Really appreciate you literally arrived right at the end of it. Uh it, it is already like 20 minutes past three here. So I should I should have been in bed 20 minutes ago already. Um I'll, I'll probably, like, I will definitely be back tomorrow afternoon. For those of you that, that know the normal stream time of the channel, we'll be back tomorrow afternoon. And then most likely after the stream as well. I'm um, just going to jump into, uh, just going to make a video probably, and then jump straight into uh, the stream again to play more Final Fantasy. So, yeah. For those of you that don't like the Final Fantasy, I do apologize. I'm having the time of my life playing it at the moment. So, you yeah, know. There is that. Uh, Teresita, how you doing? Uh, just never catch it. Well, I am happy that you are here, Nate. Very happy that you are here to say hello. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you all for hanging out with me, for spending your evening or your morning or your afternoon, whichever time of the day it is for you. Thank you so much. It means the absolute world to me. I really had the time of my life. I enjoy Final Fantasy. I enjoy chat. It's been a blast. It's been an honor. As always, remember to take care of yourselves. Be kind to each other. Be good to each other. Most importantly, be good to yourself. And I, as always, will see you in the next one. Peace out, fam.